you are now live. Good evening, everybody. How are we? Lost Souls, Pat, Nathan. Oh, and there we go. There's the echo in the loop. <laughs> Missy Moon. Stitch. Who else we got in here? Ray, good evening, buddy. Bleach Demon, if you haven't gone back into the corner of the room. <laughs> right, do you want to say good evening? Make sure everybody can hear you. Hello, everybody. If someone can uh, tell me if you can all hear Mrs. W there. We won. Good evening, sweetheart. Paris, good evening, mate. Moo, grumpy supper. Good evening, mate. Thinks he's on a holiday in the Bahamas. <laughs> Bananas? I don't know about Bahamas. <laughs> it's better than a purple shirt. Yeah, it's better than a purple shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Wee One. So, how are we all today then? Thank you, Para. Nice fucking shirt. <laughs> you wait till I put the suit on. <laughs> Summertime Sue. Good evening, sweetheart. Soul Rebel. Thank you very much. It's blue. <laughs> I know it's blue. I'm with him. I think it's blue. Medallion for that shirt. No, I'm winning it, winning a bet by wearing it. I could probably find you one. No worries, Lost Salt. Thank you. And thank him very much. Ninja Audits. Good evening. Hi, Box. Good evening, mate. Yeah, I used to have a collection of them, wee one, um, that I bought up from Cornwall when I moved. Um, I think it was last year or the year before I threw a lot of them out. I had um, some very nice ones, some man-made ones, and I didn't think I'd wear them again, but... Yeah, I know who you are, mans. Resist. Thank you, buddy. <coughs> right, let's start the evening by having a cigarette. <laughs> Ron Jeremy had the same shirt. Yeah, but unlike Ron Jeremy, it didn't do a lot of good for me, mate. <laughs> um, for those who don't know who Ron Jeremy was, go look him up. <laughs> but you're more likely to find him on Pornhub or Hamster or whatever it's called. No, oh, I wouldn't expect anything different from you, Dan. <laughs> Far from it, mate. <laughs> um, Daryl and um, Paul might be in a bit later, Ninja. Um, Nathan was going to let them know. I did get a message from him earlier. Graham, good evening, buddy. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who posted good wishes for my birthday on today's video. And those of you that took the time to post something on Facebook as well. That's really, really appreciated. Yeah, I would use the part I'm not getting any younger. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Quick drag of that. We'll see how long that one stays in the ash. Oh, I've got an itchy armpit. Yes, those on Discord as well, Dan. Thank you very much for all the memes. <laughs> Daryl is ninja. Okay, Nathan, I didn't know that. Sorry, thank you. Um, it may have done Graham, but I haven't had time to um, have a look for any that have been hidden yet. Let's say I, I've been quite busy. With one thing or another. Um Obviously, doing the video, watching some pat videos earlier as well. Having a shave. Having a shave, having the tea. 
I have been presents. I haven't started on one of my presents yet. Um, it's not one giant one. That's actually a box <laughs> of Cadbury's cream eggs. I don't quite know how many are in there. 48. 48 Cadbury's cream eggs. So when I have a dump over the weekend, it's probably going to be brown and yellow. <laughs> But I do believe, um, whether it's running this year, that if there's a, a white and brown one in there, you know, a diverse <laughs> Cadbury's cream egg, apparently last year they were worth quite a lot of money. Up to 10000 this year. Up to £10,000 this year could be the winning one on that. Yeah, I know, Dan. Um, I've got an absolute huge bar of uh, dairy milk here as well that was given to me on Saturday. <laughs> and <laughs> there's only half of it left, but I shall finish that before I open that. I dare say I'll end up giving them back, giving a lot of them back to the grandkids anyway. But yeah, that arrived through the post this morning. I was quite surprised, to be honest. That's my dear daughter for you. And another little present I got today was my new bigger. Union flag. So that will be in the background of uh, all my videos in future. <coughs> Cream eggs for a good head. <laughs> Cheers, Graham. <laughs> Only certain one watching. Yeah, um, on average, Grumpy Sapper, um, I get between. 30 and sometimes even up as high as 50 um it's probably gonna drop a little bit tonight because i've said it as um you've got to be a subscriber for an hour before you can join in um, we probably will get the ones in the background lurking hi lurkers um, not all of them are there for nefarious reasons some of them are good friends of mine they just don't like being uh seen in public shall i say no dan no <coughs> dan we don't want that sort of a mess you're talking about that dan um it used to be an old trick on the bike rallies if someone was partying with us and they fell asleep uh, you'd wedge one in the cheeks of their ass and so it melted through the night with the body heat and yeah it used to cause quite a stir first thing in the morning You'll be getting your collar felt with that new flag, Rog. Um, it won't be that one that does its old rebel. The two hanging in the window <laughs> facing the road and the school opposite, Mike. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm British, I'm English, and I'm fucking proud to be. And nobody's going to tell me I can't fly my national flag. I'm thinking of printing out we want our country back and putting that in the middle. Yeah. Um, as we've all seen, there's been a, a lot of uh, hoo-ha with the government the last couple of days. <coughs> um, some are being called out. We're obviously now absolutely far right if you listen to mainstream media and the government. But surely with what they're saying, wouldn't make that make them far left? Hmm. Just a thought. <laughs> but some shit's been going on today. Um, mainstream media have got all of it and the police have jumped on it. Um, we all know that crossbows aren't illegal to own, but they're illegal in certain circumstances. And they are illegal in public if you're not going to a range. But now they've started on catapults. Um, somebody's picked up the fact that kids are killing wildlife with catapults. Um, they did show some, what I would call some very disturbing scenes. Um, even though I've worked in on a farm, I've worked with wildlife and stuff like that and gamekeeping up the woods. Evening, Stuart. Um, Steve. But um, to actually bring down a small deer with a catapult 
take some doing. And I don't believe that was kids that could have done that. Squirrels, rats, pigeons. Well, basically, they're all pests. Um, and you can, if you're on private land, you can shoot those. Um, but in public with a catapult is something different. But I do believe the only thing they're going to bring it, be able to bring in about it would be age restriction on buying them. But every kid that was around when I was young, you just went up the woods and you cut a bit of V out of a fucking tree, strapped some um, hospital elastic, surgical elastic on it, and away you go. <clears throat> I said, Gary, good evening. Yep, it's been good so far, mate. Been good so far. Schools, pigeons, rats. Yeah, they, they are all pests, Dan. Um, squirrels in particular, obviously, they're not native to this country, the grey squirrels. But the fact um, that they were having a go at swans as well. Yeah, right? that, that was a, an annoying thing. Um, they did have some injured swans there. Um. That's exactly what I said, Soul Rebel. How many of, of, of yeah. us older people did play with catapults and slingshots and all the rest of it and were lucky if we could hit anything back in when I was lucky? But it was the fact that we couldn't film it and put it out there. That's the difference. They're filming it on TikTok and putting it out there and, bit, and proud of it for the world to see, encouraging others. Yeah. Um, who's that making longbows illegal? Um, I do believe they will try and bring in some sort of licensing, Steve. Um, they've tried it with air rifles before and it got knocked back. And I believe they will force that one through. Um, yes, air rifles can be adjusted. But um, most of the ranges now... They have their own chronograph on site. And if they believe you're using an overpowered air rifle without an FAC ticket, um, they will test them and they will throw you off and report you. Uh, likewise, the police do, um, their firearms units do have chronographs to measure the power. No, they're not licensed below 12 pound foot pressure. Um, pistols are six. Uh, all the ones that we've ever had and the, the best ones we use, I test them regular because they can self-adjust sometimes. I do have a, a chronograph myself. And before I go to a range, I always make sure that they're below the legal limit. But licensing stuff like that, to me, is absolutely fucking pointless, really, because... The only people that are going to declare them and buy a license are people like us that are responsible owners and users. You know, anybody that's using them in a criminal way or illegally, that they're not going to register them. Um, we've seen this with real firearms. The only people that pay are responsible owners. <laughs> yeah, bleach <please>, team. <laughs> Those were the days, weren't they? When you actually had a yellow pages rather than the internet. Yeah, hi, box. At the moment, longbows are the same as um, crossbows. People like us responsible. How much have you had to smoke today? One, two, four or five. No lettuce, though. No lettuce, though. That That's still way out the window. Um, yeah, longbows and crossbows, it is actually illegal to shoot live quarry of any type, including rodents with those. <clears throat> and I do actually have um, a catapult in the drawer behind me, actually. Uh, it's got no elastic on the moment. At the moment, I had the uh, genuine latex elastic, and um, it degrades. Lettuce, high box. Um, devil's lettuce, high box. Um, 
I was um, smoking the weed as um, a medication. Not that I always did it as a medication, but the last few years I have. Um, I've actually knocked that on the head. That's been over a month now. Um, man's, what's he saying? No, that's all bows, man's. Um, long bows, compound bows, cross bows, archery bows. You're not allowed by law to shoot any live quarry with them. Um, they do do bow hunting and bow fishing, but I, as far as I know, that is still illegal in this country. <coughs> okay, I do it for health too. <laughs> now, it used to um, stop the cramps and the tremors in my legs, high box. You've been off it 10 years. Fair play, mate. Fair play to you. I mean, I, I've been smoke, smoking the shit since I was, what, 16, I suppose. Um, amongst other stuff. Marching powder. But I gave that up years and years ago. It absolutely destroyed my sinuses. I do it because I love being paid. Yeah. Um, but with that bleach demon, I mean... If you go that, then you know um, what a white out is. And I would not be able to distinguish a white out to a stroke. I wouldn't be able to distinguish the two because they're very, very similar, or at least the ones I used to get were. And if I'm starting to have a stroke coming on or I'm feeling the tremors, then I need to know about it so I can act quickly. Is it illegal to shoot rodents with a camera? Yeah. Well, only if they're the two-legged ones in Met uniforms. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, that bit with the Met today. Please don't film us. Of course we're going to fucking film you, you idiots. We're the only ones that hold you to account with videos. You know, it's if you don't do any wrong, why would you be worried about it? I pay good money to Whitey. <laughs> yeah, I, I only used to smoke um, the clippings, bleach. I never used to smoke the whole bud, not for the last few years anyway. Drone, good evening, sir. Yeah, th there is that, Steve. Um, what I tend to do is just turn everything off and turn myself off to the world when it gets to that level. Um, it's been nice the last couple of days. <clears throat> I have been on Facebook and that um, with the laptop, um, but we've been doing some PC maintenance, shall I say. And under Mrs. W's guidance, I actually fitted a new hard drive into my computer. And then panic because it wouldn't work. She had to come and press some buttons to make it work for me. <laughs> Thank you, Drone. Um, but yeah, um, this shit with filming the police. And as for Mayor Tusi, I don't know whether any of you follow him or watch him. I, I don't because I know what he is. Um <laughs> trying to claim that it was because of what he filmed. Right load of bollocks. He keeps right out of the fucking way. He's fucking terrified of getting arrested. And his video from the uh, protest the other day where he actually showed um, the Jewish side of things, I think it was, the counter-protest to the Palestinian one, making it seem like it was a big counter-protest. Well, if you look very carefully, when he walked up to them, um, there was a 100 yards gap between two barriers with a line of police either side, and there was probably no more than 30 of them. Yet, yeah, you know, the way he was going on, you'd think there was hundreds. Yes, yeah, Steve, I, I believe so, mate, and I believe he takes uh, backhanders as well. Uh, that, that's why I, I don't watch him. Um, I used to do um, the marching powder shirt literally because I was working three jobs and uh, 
to keep up with it all. I just needed to keep myself going. Right, let's get that out of the way to start with. I will open the panel up shortly. But uh, rotten. is rotten politics in Lost Souls? Oh, there he is. Hello, mate. Sorry, buddy. I didn't see you there. Welcome <coughs> to this here little channel. Thank you for dropping in. No, Stuart, it, it was literally just to keep myself going. Um, you know, I was working till all hours of the night as a doorman, working during the day as a builder, working on the fishing boats. Thank you, Rotten. Much appreciated, buddy. Um, that were, some of your videos this week, wake me, they've been right on the ball. Honestly, I do watch all yours. Karen, good evening. Welcome from across the water there. I see you've been um, getting a few hotels smashed up. Apparently, they don't like the food. <laughs> but what I was going to do tonight, before we um, get into too much of it, was go through some of the things that happened the year I was born, which obviously was 1961. Um, as I said before in a video, um, the average house price the year I was born was £2,700, would you believe? That was the average price. Um, the police identikit was launched. World Wildlife Fund was launched. The will was invented. Yes, Dan. Thank you. Um, so was Ken, actually, as well. He was born um, the same year as me. And I believe, where hey. we are, he was born ten day, nine days before I was. And yes, I am talking about Barbie's Ken, <laughs> released hey, by Mattel. He's kept his looks better than you have. Well, yeah, but he ain't got no dick, has he? <laughs> Good evening, Michael. Um, what else have we got? The E-Type Jaguar was launched. That's another thing. Ultrasound was invented. Um, what else we got? The first of a three-stage Minuteman ICBM was made by America. <laughs> Roger was celebrating his 21st when I was still baking him. I'm sorry. <laughs> So was I. Uh, Tango started to break up and form the continents we know now. Well, actually, Dan, in 1961, they actually discovered continental drift. Um, obviously, it was the official start of the Vietnam War as well. Um, what was the average wage back then? I think it was something like about 15 quid a week. Oh, in-flight movies were introduced by TWA. <laughs> um, several Grand Prix drivers were killed, yeah, including Wolfgang von Tripps. Dennis Law moved to Manchester City, from Manchester City to Toronto. That was the first £100,000 transfer. Well, I've never been interested in football. And funny enough, um, the first, oh, my lady, oh, my voice, the first interactive computer game was bought out. Um, Space Wars. That's an interesting one. And in March in 1961, have we got anything interesting in that other than Ken being born? Oh, yeah, uh, black and white £5 notes were ceased to be legal tender. Um, the X-15, um, which is a jet, well, rocket, actually, but flyable, um, 
was the first jet to exceed Mach 4 with Captain Robert White at the controls. Oh, and the Peace Corps were established. But there you go. That was what happened in the year and the month that I was born. Bloody hell, we nearly pressed the wrong button then. Fuck. Nearly ended the stream. <laughs> nearly ended the stream then. <laughs> yes, Lost Souls. In fact, we were the first person, first family in the street to actually have a coloured telly. Um, I remember a lot of my mates coming round just because we had that. Yeah, I was there at the countdown at the beginning of the world, Bleach Demon, if you listen to Pat. <laughs> Did you have aeroplanes back then? No, funny enough, Lost Souls, I can remember as a very young kid, uh, we used to holiday in Ireland because we've got relatives over there. My mother was Irish. Now, I can distinctly remember flying over as a kid, sat down the sides of an aircraft with my back to the windows. What aircraft it was, I, I couldn't tell you. Probably a fucking cargo plane, knowing my luck. Um, but it could have been something like a DC-3 or something like that. Did you go over with the bags of airmail? Yeah, <laughs> bags of airmail on my lap. <laughs> Ethnic minority telly. Sorry, Graham. Yes, it, it became a diverse television. <laughs> yes, Grumpy Sapper. <laughs> Uh, they still had Shermans and Bren Carriers when I was born. Boily Boyle, Steve, good evening, mate. Sorry I missed you there, buddy. Thank you, Light Our Souls. Uh, it's one I never expected to reach in my younger years, if I'm honest. Um, I was born with a hole in my heart and a shadow on my lung. And the first thing the doctors told me, or told me parents, was he probably won't live past his early 20s. Yeah. Fuck you, doctors. I'm in a mess now, but I'm still living. Graffiti <laughs> on the... I actually invented the pyramids, Bleach. <laughs> 405 line, telly watch, big H aerials, yes. Um, our first one that I can actually remember was a big one, like a, a Bakelite casing. And as many memes on Facebook have shown, I was the first remote control in our family. <laughs> the old man used to go a bit mental at me, poking at the buttons with a fishing rod from the chair. So I was always the one that used to have to get up. <coughs> like ourselves. All right, Graham, thanks for dropping in, buddy. You look after yourself and stay safe out there. It's getting a bit wild and uh, wild west on the streets now. Um, with all these new powers coming in, it looks like the police are going to go even further rogue than what they are. Um, they, they're just way over the top now. Way over the top. But it's going to be interesting at the end of the week when... Um, the clowns in power are actually going to tell us what extremists are. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the far right are going to be called extremists, although we are far from far right. We're just right most of the time. But because we like our country, we're patriots, we don't want to see it overrun. We want it nice and peaceful. Um, we're branded far right. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it could have been worse, Stuart. I could have been outside holding the fucking aerial. I did with the one on the back of the telly. We had, had a set top one originally. And I used to get a, have to get up and move that around each time when we changed between the uh, three channels that we had. Um, I'm hoping to stay on till about 10 Dan. um 
I don't think I'll be able to keep going much longer than that because I, I haven't had any sleep today. And I was up at, what was it, four o'clock, half past four? I don't so, know. Something I like that. didn't look at the clock, to be honest. I did go back to bed for a couple of hours, but there was no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Don't say a word. <laughs> yeah, take care, Graham. Look after yourself, mate. Tell her you were lucky. Yeah, we didn't always have one grumpy supper. Um, I can remember the old Baker Light radio in the kitchen. I have to go for a bit. I didn't really... Yeah, no, no worries, Dan. No worries. Like, like I've always said, mate. No one, no one is under ob obligation to come in, even let alone stay. Uh, um, other than you, well, you ain't got much choice, really, unless you go upstairs, have you? <laughs> But no, I've had quite a nice um, relaxing day. Well, until I watch PM question times, but that was an absolute farce. Thumbs down if you Lost want right, to go on to all that. And kettle. What was that? What's that? What's, what was she said? Dirty feckers. <laughs> Pot and Absolutely. kettle. Absolutely. Pot and kettle. If I last long enough, you can tell me if you're still at it when you get to our age. <laughs> but at the moment, there's nothing wrong with my blood pressure. It's well up. <laughs> For moments, bake like records in them. Yeah, you used to be able to put them over a, a perspex or glass bowl. A perspex, that fucking melt, wasn't it? Um, what was it? Pyrex or whatever it was. They used to make good ashtrays as well. But you could never clean them properly because everything got stuck in the groove, man. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Oh, I'm not going to apologise to him. Tell Mr. G's blood pressure. <laughs> but yeah, you know, everybody takes the, the mickey out of me because of my age, but there are people in here that are the same age as me or not far off, but six weeks. <laughs> yeah, you're only six weeks behind St. George's Day. And I still used to forget when her bloody birthday was. I knew the month, but I could never remember the day. And that's how I remember it now. Um, is that you posting another video, Dan? Have you had one ready to go up? Just had an alert. Harris is 68. Yeah, well, that's five years yeah. older than me. Yeah, that was another one of Dan's. I'm a little younger, but not too much. Beyond. If um, Jenny wins in here listening, by the way, hi, Jenny, and happy birthday to you, sweetheart. It's um, her birthday today as well. Oh, she'll be enjoying herself. Um, she's away at the moment with um, the kids and that, I think. Um, she was in Whitby at some point. Just emailed you a 21 bum salute. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> if you're still listening. But yeah, I've had lots of um, nice messages and best wishes today. That's brilliant. Yeah, one more at eight. Okay, buddy. I'll, I'll have a look at those a bit later once I've uh, shut that shut shit down. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> the new shut down was the word I'm looking for. Same as me, Karen. 52. Oh, we have a young lady giving her age away. Look. <gasps> 19 in this life. Well, you haven't died since we met you, Moo, in Liverpool. And I know damn well you're not 19. <laughs> Soul Rebel, same age as me. It's a good age to be, isn't it? You know, we had a few freedoms when we were young. We got away with uh, all sorts of things. I was going to say we got away with murder back then, but someone would probably take offence to that and call the police. But... You should be it, shot. It, it should be shot. 
Don't mention Diane Abbott. <laughs> I didn't mention Diane Abbott. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, but those are my two favourite. My two favourite sayings are at the moment are: "We want our country back," and "You should be shot." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, absolutely. He was wrong um, by what he said about. I'll call them coloured women. Um, but as for the other part, sadly, I'm in agreement with him. How the hell she's ever lasted in Parliament because this silly bitch can't even string a, a, a sentence together, you can understand. And literally, she moaned that um, the Speaker of the House didn't give her any airtime today. Well, no, because he knew damn well that she'd just create pandemonium and start a fucking argument. So... Fair Dale do's Mr. Speaker, <laughs> shutting her down. He ran out of time. But uh, again, Roland, oh, we've got the most diverse government that we've ever had. Uh, yeah, and look at the shit it's put us in. <clears throat> yeah, rotten, absolutely. Token is, yes. It was when she was put in there. Um, now, pff, yeah, I mean, the, the, he says it himself. And Khan's gone mental on the Muslims, and now we've got them um, going to give them um, 100 and what is it, 117 million to protect their mosques or whatever. How about protecting us for a change? You know, we're the ones in danger in this fucking country. None of them are. We can't be protected with the far right. Mm. We're not being British. But I, I personally, I don't think reform um, will be any good. I'm but, looking into their uh, what, what they. But with what's on offer, other than them. If I do vote, then that's the way I will probably vote, just to take the vote away from the others. Carmen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening. Sorry, I'm I'm in Friday mode because I'm live. You're going to be buggered tomorrow. Yes, Steve. That, that's what I mean. But, you know, what, what's the point of voting for Labour or, or the Tories? The, the only advantage I can see out of either of them is vote Labour because they'll collapse the country quicker than the Tories will. And it will give us a quicker death. Anglophobia, exactly, Missy. I think Rotten Politics used that word in one of his videos today, and it's absolutely bang on. Um, <laughs> but it's got to the point where it's absolutely fucking ridiculous now. It's going nowhere. Yeah, e exactly, Rotten. It's, it's a vote against them. It might not be a vote for the best, but it's a vote for them. And I don't think reform have got the clout to actually run the country. That They're a one horse party. They've only got one main thing, and that is we want to take our country back. And you can't go in and run the country just on that alone. I, I see no promises or manifestos from them if they get into power, which by now they should have. Um, there's a lot of people calling for what I said, an election in May. And a lot of the Tories are pushing for that um, simply because they think, and I, same as me, that the longer it goes on, the more support they're going to lose. Um, I won't be doing a live on Friday, Grumpy Sapper. I'm going to try and switch it to Wednesday nights. Um, same time scale as today, 7 till 10, uh, simply because there's there's a lot of people that sub to me um, at that time of day, 4 o'clock till 7. They're just getting home from work, so they want to have a wash, a shower, a feed. Um, you've got the people that are picking the kids up, doing school runs, feeding the kids. And a few people have been in touch and said, and I've considered it for a while. 
um, I'd probably do better because I'd be able to get more people in. There'd be more people available. Uh, there are other people that run streams in the week. Hello, what's the computer doing? It's, I've got a blue circle going around here. Don't know what that was up. Why have the comments there stopped moving? Nobody put anything. Uh, what's going on? Maybe I'm getting interfered with again. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> but again, it doesn't matter who sits in that house of corruption. You you can't believe any of them. Okay, Grumpy Sapper, no worries, mate. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it for a while on a Wednesday. Um, see how we go. And the other thing is it will be a bit easier for me um, simply because doing one on a live on a Friday, then I'm usually on somebody else's live on Saturday. Dan's on the Sunday. Um, by the time Monday comes around, I'm absolutely shagged. Well, not shagged. Knackered, shall I say. <laughs> but um, we'll see how it goes. Right. Well, let's get this up here. See if I can get this right again this week. Copy. Testing, testing. Yeah, we'll add that up there. And we'll put that at the top. Uh, if I take any time getting to you, it's simply because I'm watching the chat there and StreamYard is over there. And I, it doesn't always get my attention. Yeah, it, exactly, Holly. Um, like I say, there are other people that run streams during the week, usually from about 8 o'clock. But, you know, they've got their own little followings and that's all they get in. So, And I'm not going to take anything away from them. So... <coughs> Yeah, exactly, Holly. That's 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 what just happened to me. Uh, I just thought, oh, it's Friday. It's four o'clock. It's Cracker Jack. No, nope, it's him again. Good evening, Grumps. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, not drinking. Not drinking. Well, other than caffeine. No sugar, though. It is zero. See that? Product placement. Coca-Cola, if you're interested. <laughs> Thank Donna for your present, by the way. She just checked it, making sure they turned up. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do with 48 cream eggs is anybody's business. JW, good evening. You joined the Manchester Raven Lunar Party. Yeah, I remember screaming, Lord, such. <laughs> Didn't he wear some weird clothes? Didn't he used to wear a, a pearly king jacket at one point? I remember a big green hat and a big yellow tie. Christ, that's going back some years. But again, that, that's another thing I've seen change in my lifetime, how politics works, the difference between different parties, you know, as I said, I, I've seen a lot of things go on. The Vietnam War, the Cold War, obviously the Falklands. Um, most of you uh, will have known or seen about the uh, wars out in the Middle East, Afghanistan and Iran and places like that. But I go back quite a bit further from that. Yeah, they were sure. They, 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 some of them were a bit bad, but they were a lot more sane than these clowns we've got now. Always count Binny face. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, what well, the world has totally changed. And, you know, and the sad thing is I didn't change with it. And that's that's why I'm uh, always behind on tech and computers. I mean it was only last year I got I was on went on to Facebook. I used to have enough trouble with my mobile, let alone a bloody computer. But then I um, got hold of a laptop, a second-hand one. 
started playing around with that. That was Windows 7, so it wouldn't have been a lot of good for what I'm doing now. Um, then Heather gave me, well, she gave me the laptop that I bought her for Christmas one year. No, um, you borrowed it and I never got it back. Well, yeah, but you got a better one there now anyway, didn't you? <laughs> And then I had a very nice subscriber that um, built me this computer, um, along with several other bits and pieces that other people gave me that they were no longer using. And that's how I've got the setup I've got now. It, if I'm honest, it is still a bit much for me at times, but that is literally because I, I don't know. I know how to use most of it. But like when I fitted the new hard drive um, earlier in the week, obviously it needed turning on and setting up and I didn't have a clue. But I have a very good tech support with Mrs. W there. She's worked with computers most of her life. And we've got another member of the family that works in quite a sensitive industry um, who's another whiz with computers. She's she is a properly trained. Yeah, she she is properly trained in it. Um, qualified. I'll just say it's around the aerospace industry. I won't say any further than that. But she's very very good. Um, have you seen my living room the other day with my PC plus half install plus? <laughs> proper geek off well I, I did when I was testing this out once I'd done it Ollie I had the laptop by the side of me on the table in case this all went tits up um, my two phones are always there it's, um, but I'm learning it, it, it's been a, a big long learning curve and I believe it's one of them things because they keep updating regular that it's something that everybody's going to have to keep learning. Especially if they come out with this and force, well, they will eventually force everybody onto the um, new windows. But it looks like they could end up scrapping Windows 11 and bringing out Windows 12 with all the bugs from 11 ironed out. No, 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 no. Windows 12 will be a better version of 10. Yeah, hopefully. No, there's that many issues with 11. They're taking mm. a step back. And, and... <coughs> yeah. Yeah. But we, we've seen the way it's going with Google putting up that AI thing, um, which turns everything black. <laughs> And I believe that's the sort of thing they're going to force on us. MacBooks on Windows. So I've got used to Windows, Holly. Um, I use Chrome as a, a search engine. I've always used that. I was taught to use that in the college courses that I went on uh, to learn to use a computer, funny enough. But I pass that with flying colours. Um <laughs> By the end of the course, I was actually helping some of the ones that had fallen behind. Um, admittedly, it was a government-funded course through what is now the DWP. Um, so there was all sorts of dregs and that that was sent there. Um, but we got them all up and running. And I even had the, uh, the college that I went to... Um, asked if they could use my results in their advertising. You know, the fact that I didn't know how to use a computer. Yeah, but, did. Well, I knew how to use eBay. That was it, wasn't it? Or watch YouTube videos. That that was my limit, and you taught me how to do that. Um, but using um, Office and all that sort of stuff, um printing stuff off that they taught me all that and I passed with flying colours with recommendations um, which was nice to get the feedback from that <coughs> my tobacco support moved oh. out my son yeah. <laughs> yeah the grandkids are better with them than me Carmen yeah 
lost all the giggle is because um, I've been messaging my daughter to let her know the eggs has, have arrived. And I put, they could last until next year. He's trying not to eat too much chocolate. I'm sure he will share, though. And she's come back with the kids want to come and see Grandad. Well, of course they will. If I've got a box of bloody Cadbury's cream eggs there, they're going to want to be around here all the time, aren't they? Mind you, she'll get upset when they get home and they're all hyper because of the sugar. We even have to watch what the little buggers drink. That does enough damage to the to the young ones. Well, it does enough damage to me at my age. Um, because I mainly, except for the odd coffee, um, most of what I drink, liquid-wise, is fizzy. <laughs> yeah, Holly. Well, they, they for some reason, they named me Grandad Gorgeous when they were a little bit younger. <laughs> well, except for young Josh. I mean, he's 18 now. He's never called me that, but... My lad used to be a manic after. Never used to, I'll, I'll drink orange squash, but that's about it on the cordials. But if you're thirsty in certain situations, you'll drink anything. I have even tasted tree sap. Um, birch in particular, that's... If you got the right one, that can be quite a nice, refreshing drink, actually. Um, what's the other one? Oh, fucking hell. What's the one they put on the pancakes? Maple syrup. Maple, yeah. Yum. Maple syrup. Um, there, there are quite a few. Um, we haven't got any trees in this country that will actually hold water, like the Baobab and things like that. Which I, I bay of bab is that I can't remember that's Australia, I think. And they got the bay of bab trees. Don't like this about drinking seeds. <laughs> yeah, well, there's tree huggers and there's tree suckers, Holly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you got them weird. The bay of bab is Africa. African. Thank you. Yeah, Carmen's just put it in the chat. Brilliant. Jungle juice from the vine. Ah, uh, depends which vine, Moo. Um, some of them can be poisonous. It's, that's the thing with survival and stuff like that. You, you've you got to know what you're eating and drinking. And you can get yourself in all sorts of trouble if you don't. In this country, it's not so bad because you got your mushrooms. If you know they're mushrooms, absolutely fine. But I wouldn't trust any other fungus. Um, we have got a few roots in this country you can eat. Um, bulrush. They're, they're full of carbs. Um, but you've got to clean them right. And if you clean them right, you can actually eat rat, believe it or not. Um, I've never actually tried it. <laughs> You're going to make your own wine, Carmen. <laughs> what, 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 yes, we did, Holly. <laughs> Hawthorne. Mm. Hawthorne I prefer to use as a, a walking stick or a weapon, to be honest. when you think the uh, shillelaghs are traditionally made out of hawthorn, black hawthorn. But I was actually going to start a business years and years ago. Um, I'd come up with the idea of a plastic inflatable called an inflator lately. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you'll be surprised, Carmen. There is a lot. I've got a, a, a book somewhere. Um, that uh, explains 
a lot of the plants, you know, it goes into the toxic ones and the deadly ones in this country as well, <clears throat> which people are quite surprised that we have got quite a few plants that are deadly in this country. Yeah, exactly. So it, um, it's a good hardwood, very good hardwood. Nice to work with as well. <clears throat> yes, Carmen, I, I used to do survival courses, bushcraft and stuff like that. But um, the main one we went on, it, it was quite easy to feed yourself. Uh, yeah, OK, fair enough. We did get thrown off uh, stealing a couple of chickens from a farm. But where we were doing it, fish were plentiful, rabbits were plentiful. Um, there was a bit of game about if you knew how to, uh, what the hell was that? If you knew how to um, catch it and clean it. And another one, which a lot of people don't realise. What the hell is all this? Um, happy birthday, Roger. Enjoy this special day, assistant. Oh, okay. <laughs> um two messages on whatsapp i haven't got time to look at those at the moment so i will go through them later the thing is if i've got too many things open and being used i start to get conf confused again back with vitamin c yeah yeah moo it's okay if you can identify the mushroom um Obviously, regular mushrooms in the field, usually sheep fields. Um, yeah, they're terrible. But the others I personally wouldn't touch. It's too risky. Ricky, good evening, mate. Um, but funny enough, acorns. Now, that's one that most people miss. You can make what's called acorn leather. But it does take a few days to make because you've got to leach the toxins out of the acorns, um, which does take some doing. But then you can beat them around. You beat them into a paste, flatten them out, and um, they end up like a bit of a biscuit, very chewy biscuit. And they call it acorn leather. Not a lot of nutritional value in it, but... It can be used. Nettles, yes, Carmen, obviously, that's quite a common one. A lot of people use nettle salad, nettle teas. And if you screw the stems up and squeeze squeeze the sap out, it also relieves nettle stings. Better than dock leaves, believe it or not. Yes, too. <laughs> Acorns can get you killed, especially in America, if they land on a car. In fact, that guy was very, very lucky he didn't get killed considering the amount of rounds they put into that cruiser. Very Apparently, lucky. Acorns are delicious when they're roasted. Mm -hmm. But again, you've got to wash them over several days to get all the, the toxins out. Um, who is it? Somebody... Oh, God. Somebody put out... Um... It was one of the bushcrafters. Um, he put out a video. What was his name? Matey in... I can't remember his name now. You're, you're asking me somebody's yeah, name? Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Steve, you, you, I can see you in the back room there, but there's nothing coming up on the screen, mate. You, you've got some issues at end. Jenny, and happy birthday to you, sweetheart. Got no sound on my YouTube. Huh. Have you got sound over there, baby? One Can second, you unmute one yours? Second. Yeah, I've yeah. got sound. Yeah, must be your end, Jen. I'm sure somebody else yeah. would have shouted if you'd gone quiet. Thank you, Rotten. Yeah, um, 
Mrs. W behind me there. Uh, obviously, she mutes so we don't get a loop going. But something like that, she can unmute her computer and uh, <coughs> lets me know straight away. Yeah, sorry about that, Boily. Um, it, it was just, it came up with your name and just a white square that there was nothing in it, mate. That's all right, Carmen. Not a problem, darling. Not a problem. Are you enjoying it up there anyway, Jen? The um, video you sent me look quite nice to be honest I, I do miss being by the sea by the seaside uh, yeah I, I spent a lot of happy years living and working on the sea by the sea as most of you know I used to do um, a lot of fishing down there but again that, that's another dying trade in this country it's I'm just gonna try something, make sure StreamYard is working okay. And that it's not what? an issue. I don't want to I don't want you to ah. Good evening, Steve. Hello Rog, how are you doing? Hello chat. Oh, not too mate, bad, mate. Done. Not too bad at all, to be honest. Um, hello, Mrs. W. Happy birthday, I should say, really. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Yeah, surprised to have got this far in life. Another year older, another year wider. Oh, I don't know about wiser, <laughs> but I have learned a, learned a lot in the last uh, three years, put it that way. <laughs> yes, Ricky, 63, mate. And um, next month, it's Mrs. W's turn. She'll catch up with me then. Uh, what's that? Sorry, Steve. I'm just reading the Ooh. comments here, mate. Um, I should really have that on, being as I've got StreamYard open, just in case the private chat comes up. We know how some people like to get in there, but won't subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I do apologise for putting the hour limit on subscribers only, but you guys are all regulars in here. And we always keep it a nice stream. I run zero tolerance. And since I've been doing that, I run zero tolerance. I don't think we've ever had to wave a spanner in it for quite some time now, which is really, really nice. There's, there's not many streams that you don't have to at some point or other. Holly still likes to pick on somebody occasionally. Well, yeah, usually Dan. <laughs> No, I just, as you, most of you know, we had um, a lot of hassle with idiots a little while back. No worries, Dan. Um, Dan's had to drop out. Or is he? Uh, oh, no. He, is it eight o'clock? Yeah, he, he's put another video up, so. <coughs> But uh, Ricky Moo <coughs> Stitch. Oh, no, my spanner is gathering cobwebs. Oh, you don't want cobwebs on your tools. Not when they get to my age, anyway. <laughs> also, cute hey, Rog, um, I, I thought of um, uh, a unique birthday present because I, I can't really uh, send you anything. But I thought you like tattoos. Yeah. Well, I thought if I was ever going to get a tattoo, what I would do is get a rat's ass tattooed onto the crease of the elbow of my arm. Thank you. So, so that when I uh, extended my arm, the cheeks would part to show a scene of Mahatma Gandhi single-handedly fighting off a band of gangster rappers <laughs> and with the other hand he's eating a sandwich but the filling of the sandwich isn't a filling like uh corned beef or anything it's well that, that, 50 that was of one grade. of the most i got today <laughs> that's my birthday gift to you 
whole box of Cadbury's cream eggs. Oh, and my new Union Jack as well. Well, Union flag. It's not a Union Jack unless it's flown on a ship, obviously. Where are you going, Cat? What do you want? Uh, onions and oh. garlic. No, I don't like garlic. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I do not. I, a little bit in a curry or something I'll tolerate, but if I can actually taste the garlic, it's eh. Don't like it. That's uh, a bit sorry. weird. It's a bit like not. It's a bit like not like not liking pizza. Garlic is a pretty universal. Uh, no, everyone likes it, oh, but um, I love a good pizza, but it will upset somebody because I like ham and pineapple. <laughs> No, that's not really a pizza, then, is it? Pineapple in the cupboard. It's, a, bit, it's, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> Seven seconds is an antibiotic. So is um, the sap from fir trees, Carmen. I'm sorry, Mark. It can be. It's what actually white spirits, genuine white spirits, is made from um, from the sap of fir trees. Oh, you got sound back on now, have you, Jen? Good. You enjoying yourself up there in uh, Yorkshire, are you? Whitby and that. There was, um, I don't know whether you know about, oh, he's gone again. <coughs> um, there was a woman that was um, washed off some steps or some rocks up there, got a bit too close to the waves. Garlic is quicker. I think Steve's had problems with his computer the last couple of weeks. It keeps coming up with device not connected. I think it's his phone. It might be his phone. But, hey. I love cheese and garlic is. bread, but garlic can give me indigestion, so I've got to be very careful. Got any peas? <laughs> No, garlic for me is, I don't even like a hot curry. I can eat one, but um, nowadays it's more likely to melt me false teeth. Yeah, no worries, Holly. No worries, darling. It's there if anybody wants to drop in. Obviously, if it's someone who's never been up before, um, I will verify you. Same as most people do now. Um, ask you to do something in the back room. Nothing rude. Um, just to verify who you are. Um, obviously, a lot of people are using AI now and there's a lot of porn bombing and shit like that going on. And I won't have it. That, that's why I run zero, zero tolerance. <clears throat> Too many channels have been pulled down for it. Um, some of them, it's been their own doing. I mean... Everybody's heard of Crinkle. Um, anybody that has got a live stream going and buggers off and leaves him up on the uh, live stream on the panel unattended, you're just asking for trouble. <coughs> and I like to keep it respectful and peaceful in here. I, I don't put up with any arguing. I don't put up with anybody picking on anybody. Bit of piss take as long as it's reasonable, not too offensive. Um, oh, I'm getting warm now. You know, some people will go too far. But uh, if it's picked up early enough, you, you can put a stop to it. Are you having problems, Steve? You can put it in the chat, mate. Um, you just, it came up as device not connected and then you just disappeared. I know you've been having issues the last few weeks. I'm just going to come in, make sure it's not streaming up, but see a show. Okay. Yeah, but don't forget, you won't be able to talk. Well, I can. Well, yeah, it'll come up, come through this mic. Mic is working. Enter studio. Yeah, but you need to turn your mic Mute. off. Right, I'm muted. There you go. Can everybody still hear Mrs. W? There is a bit of a lag. Well, the fact that my lips no. don't match what I'm saying isn't a problem, is it? 
Well, no, because there, there is a lag, but it what well, yours yours is in sync with me, so. That's all right then. Yeah, it's been very still here, Jim. We haven't had any rain today, and the wind's been quite low. Yes, they can all hear you. Um. Yeah, it's so, been, and it's actually got quite a bit warmer as well, and they have forecast that. Stepper, good evening. Getting my mint fix. So, uh, hello. <laughs> Who else we got in here? Of course, you can see the chat over there. Can't <laughs> fucking hell. Yes, I can see oh. the chat. I can, I can type in the chat. <laughs> Good evening, King. Oh, well, thank you, Stepper Star. I wouldn't exactly say that, but yeah, it has to, it's it's getting quite a bit warmer here now. Yes, I have, Jen. I've I've had a very very nice day. Um, as I said, there showed I got a box of lovely Cadbury's cream eggs, all forty eight of them. I've got my new Union Jack up there. Three times the size of the one that I did have. But it means I can put two in the front window. Just see if I can upset anybody. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stepper, it's uh, going back to my surfing days down in Cornwall. <laughs> and wouldn't I love to be fit enough to still be able to do it? But, uh, those days are long gone. Well, I say I could surf. I surfed. I could stand up on a board, and I could sort of ride the board in. Um, I did get actually thrown off Fistral Beach once. Um, you know, I was just floundering around out there, and uh, all of a sudden, I heard over the PA system from the beach, "Well, that guy, please get out the competition area." <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought the other guys out there were a bit good. Uh, apparently, I jumped into the middle of Boardmasters or something like that because I went in off the rocks and not off the beach. <laughs> I've got a paddle board. To be honest, uh, Carmen, I don't know since the strokes whether I'd be able to uh, balance myself on a, on a board of any type. Um I have got a mountain bike in one piece out there. I've sold a few of them off now because obviously I can't ride. Um, I must get that one out one day just to see if I can still ride up the road and down the road without falling off. But again, it's a big risk. Um, literally, because of the amount of blood thinners I'm on, if I do any internal damage, I could end up bleeding out internally. Uh, if I bang my head, there's the risk of blood clots and the same in my legs. And at my age, I'm not prepared to take that risk. Sorry, darling, I keep forgetting that you're sat behind me, but you're on the screen. So if you want to say hello to the guys, I will, I'm going to be really, really happy <coughs> and I'm going to roll myself another ciggy. Fair enough. <coughs> it's my birthday. I can get away with anything I want. Nearly. Well, yeah, racism might be out the window. Islamophobia might be out the window. But I can certainly have a ciggy without pissing too many off. Well, I'd probably get a bollock in from Lost Souls, but... Uh, lost, lost, lost Souls is going to disappear for a phone call any minute now. Uh, I dare say. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh, what have we done there? Carter. I've lost all the chat. Hang on. Who lives in Horsham? Uh, no, don't know Jill Carter, but I'm aware of Jill Carter. No, most of the car. Well, was it your dad that was from up north or your mum? Dad. Your dad. So yeah, the Carters were up around uh, Cumbria, around that area. 
no, where we go on holiday. No. Where then? There wasn't a carter. Oh, of course. No, it's something, wasn't it? Oh, fucking head, man. It's all over the place. No, I don't know a Jill Carter. No. Uh, but can you have a black gay city? <laughs> um, you can certainly have a black one, Moo. Um, Sobrani. Yeah, uh, more. Oh, no, they, they were brown, weren't they? More than black. Uh, more than horrible fucking cocktail things. Sobrani. Is that what it is? Yeah, they did the black ones and the multicolored ones. Yeah, you used to put them all in yeah. a glass. I wish I was either. I wish I was, mate. <laughs> I woke up this morning thinking I was 21. By the time I'd got to the bathroom, I'd realized I'd aged quite a bit. <laughs> You know, it gets to the stage where you used to hold with four and you were fine, but as you get older, you end up holding with four and pissing on two, you know. Tuck your bollocks into your socks so they don't drag on the floor. <laughs> it, it, it's a hell of a job to wear shorts as well, you know. You've got separation with two legs it, or it, it can chafe. You know, women have their own problems as they get older. That's just from blokes, like, you know. Yeah, Missy, I used to buy them for a night out. Well, the only ones I used to take on a night out had little cardboard tubes in the end. <laughs> but, um, <coughs> you attracted attention if you were smoking them because of their strange colour. Yeah, they used to sit in the bar like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. They used to taste a bloody perfume, didn't they? I don't if I remember, remember that. right. They were fucking awful. Don't remember that. Pierce and I, good evening. I take it that is Paul then, being as Nathan and the other two had already been in. Good evening, Paul. Welcome, mate. <coughs> Nathan did say it was. Um, Easier for you guys on a Wednesday as well, because Friday is usually pretty hectic. From us all here. So you're all there. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Mr. McCory and family. Do you, do you have him two plug clocks? Well, I'm on. Oh, what am I on? I'm on 150 mil of blood thinners, either. The main one is uh, Clopida drill. Uh, I'm also on quite a few others. I should have been um, taking an aspirin a day. Hi, Brenda. But I never bothered. Did for a while. Oh, brilliant. They're all together. Um, yeah. Um, since the strokes and... With the polycythemia now as well, which is one level below uh, polycythemia vera, which is blood cancer. Um, luckily enough, the version I've got isn't cancerous. I, I was a bit worried for a while there when they told me what I'd had and I looked into it. And then they'd done the tests and said, no, it's not the cancerous ones. So, touch wood, that's the, where it will stay. But I am receiving treatment for that. Um, they don't think it's going to go away, but hopefully they can keep it so it won't get any won't get any worse. Welcome, Brenda. I did say did mention you just now. Um, for those that don't know, um, Pierce and I, Brenda, Ninja. Nathan, they're all over in, well, and Stuart actually as well, uh, are over in Northern Ireland. They have to deal with the Guardi over there, which are as bad as our Metropolitan Police, if I'm honest. 
<coughs> if not worse, because they nearly always carry guns over there. I have actually got a cousin that lives just outside Belfast. Oh, come on, you poxy fucking thing. Um, I can't remember what town it is now, but it's not that far away. Oh, it's, I'm destined not to soak, can I? Look, oh. <laughs> everything's working against me. Ooh, step up, Missy. Oh, you're all saying hi to each other. I just looked down then, I could see somebody in the back room. It's you. <laughs> Yeah, it is, Holly. I know I'm being naughty today. Oh, my God. Good evening. God bless. How are you doing, Simon? Thank you very much, buddy. We've been having a good day. I've got something you might be interested in, Simon. <laughs> oh, put him away. I've, I've started collecting in bulk as well now. <laughs> I'm just hoping there's a white and black one in there, or brown one. Oh, I don't want no signs from him, Moo. No, it's my mother. If your lighter doesn't work, it's my mother telling me to stop smoking. No, um, apparently somebody died for all our sins uh, nobody had enough pain in that book from what i could see to die for my sins <sighs> no way did they get enough pain for my sins well believe it or not missy i did stop i smoked the last of my tobacco um, I did have a day there where I scrounged one off Mrs. W and forced her to give up half a one that she was smoking as well, which just encouraged her to light another one because she hadn't smoked a whole one. And she found uh, an extra packet of tobacco that we didn't realise was it. Well, she knew it was in the drawer. No, she'd forgotten it was there. You'd forgotten as well, did you? And I've got that, so... But I have, I'm down well over three quarters of the amount I used to smoke. So, and I do feel better for it. My breathing's got a little bit better. Um, I only suffer in the mornings now. We all suffer enough for our own sins. Yeah, especially if you live in London. <laughs> but that, that was quite funny yesterday to see Sadiq Khan, dictator Khan. Um, holding up in one of the town halls there because there was people outside and he was too frightened to come out. <laughs> but all the MPs have got like that now as well, haven't they? You know, they're absolutely fucking terrified. I was, well, you created this society we're in today. You've got nobody to blame by yourselves. You wait till it turns into the Hunger Games. You think you're worried now? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it is, Missy. And although they've frozen the duty um, on tobacco and cigarettes in, I think it was 2026, they're going to hit them hard. Um, plus, you've got this new ban in smoking by age, by birth date, um, same as New Zealand had that uh, what's the name old Shergar put in place. But that's actually been repealed in New Zealand since she left and somebody else took over. Yeah, exactly, High Box. It's, he, he has, dist I don't see it as our capital anymore. You, you've got a swamp there full of people that seem to be hell-bent on destroying this country, its culture, its history and us along with it and replacing us and then you got that little evil bastard who's just pandering to him and stealing our money again oh. 
<laughs> You're not old, Missy. You're not old. I've seen a picture of you. You're not old. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, you passively smoked when you were here, didn't you, Holly? With everybody smoking around you with Heather's son and his missus and us two and himself. Yeah, you're not far behind either. Not far behind, mate. Oh, look, that one wants to work now. <laughs> uh, what have we got going on here? Now, there's an interesting thing. You just looked at your channel, Ivor. Um, I take it you're an Elvis fan, or were. There's that one there. I don't know whether you can actually see it. Um, let's try and get it on camera. Um, that is, it says, in memory of Elvis. And that was actually done the day he died. Um, if I remember right, I heard it on the radio at 11 o'clock in the morning. And that was done by 1 o'clock because I was also uh, an Elvis fan. Uh, in my younger days, I was a teddy boy and a biker. Um, if me mate crazy is in here, I don't know whether he's watching tonight. Um, yeah, we used to go to the gigs and... We're wearing all the gear and stuff. <laughs> Except for weddings and funerals. I think that was the only time. Oh, look, there's somebody else lurking in the back room there. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, I'm right. <laughs> well, I've, I've got StreamYard on one side and I've got the chat enlarged on the other side so I can see it. Anyway, Roger, happy birthday. Thank I'm you, sir. That's Heather, by the way. How you doing? I'll just come out in the shower, so excuse me not having any gel or anything in my hair. Oh, it's nice to have air to put something in, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask Pat. <laughs> yeah. Where is he? He's not in tonight. Yeah, he, he's been in. Um, he hasn't <laughs> taken his meds today, so he's dropped out to take them. And he's been doing videos as well today, obviously. Um, if we're still about, he, he might drop in in a bit. I should, I should probably knock it on the head about 10 o'clock if I'm still going by then. I only come across you by chance. I was just flicking around <coughs> as you do when you're bored and no one's in the house. And um, there you was. I didn't get no notification that you went live tonight or anything like yeah. that. I just flicking around. Um, and... I put um, the, posted it up. Oh, Christ, must have been about four o'clock. Um, but people don't look during the week for me doing a live either because I normally do them on a Friday. But for the next few weeks to see how it goes, I'm going to switch to Wednesday nights, literally because I've got a lot of people that do school runs. People are just getting in from work. They want to have a meal. They want to have a shower. And it gives them a chance to get in and settle a little bit before I go live. Yeah. Um, the numbers tonight have prove me right you know we're averaging a few more than we always do on a friday which is nice and it's nice to bring a be able to bring a few more of the subscribers in you know yeah friday is a bit of a mental day for me especially in the afternoon was it, it used to be four o'clock wasn't it it used to be mm. two o'clock then he went to four and yeah it, was, it used to be a bit of a mental day um friday afternoons for me well, the, the other thing is, is usually you, I do mine on a Friday and then if I'm still awake, usually I'll go on, see if there's anybody else going live. Um, <laughs> um, oh. But then there's usually the Rev or somebody else on the Saturday, then Dan on the Sunday. And by the Monday, I'm wiped out, mate. I'm, I'm absolutely wiped out. Not you, Graham. Graham in the chat. Graham knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been missing the chat now because I've been looking at the bloody stream. You know? you know, yeah, it's all right. You just put it up. She can't help herself, can she? 
Well, if everybody saw what you two keep posting on bloody Facebook, they'd probably come oh. to the same conclusion, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the sense of stuff. You see what we do on WhatsApp together. I know. I'm surprised you both haven't been thrown off of Facebook for a year. <laughs> and the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp, yeah, I know. It's all right. We just get on with it. So, anyway, I'll, how's your day been? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Nice and quiet. Um, we had people round all weekend because obviously people wouldn't be able to come out tonight. So, but well, uh, they came round to see me for Mother's Day. Well, they don't yeah. care about you and your birthday. Yeah, but I got better presents. <laughs> So, so I have to question why. Right? How is it that Heather's got a mic muted that you can hear her? Because I've got a damn good mic. <laughs> okay. Because now, I... if, if she has the one on the laptop, then we're going to get a loop. I thought you both give up smoking. I um... I almost have. She hasn't. They <laughs> give up smoking weed. No, no, no lettuce. Um, I've dropped that on the floor. Um, I'll get another one. Um, <laughs> but no, I said I, I'd stop smoking as and when, but I'd already got a pack of duty freeze on order. So I wasn't going to try quitting when another 200 was going to turn up a week later. Now, when you said that you had it on order, did you order it from a board or some people coming back from holiday? <coughs> but, uh, Somebody that was out with work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I used like to get the tobacco as well. Yeah, I was getting um during a lockdown and stuff like that. I was ordering it from Holland. Uh, not not Holland. Um was it Holland? Oh Amsterdam. One of one of one of the two. And it was all right. And then the customs started cracking down and they wanted insurance and, and it was all right. So now I just um I live on the love of my friends going abroad. <coughs> and so, like, you know, like 50 grams, I'm paying 10 quid a pou pouch. Proper stuff, yeah. though. You shouldn't uh, pay. You shouldn't stuff. pay. It's illegal to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my ball back did as I, a gift. Did I forget to say the word donation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I th there's plenty of cheap stuff here. out there, but a lot of it... Um, we got stung with some. It was counterfeit. It was underway, oh, full of fluff well. and sweep. It was fucking awful. I did, did be Dan honest, tell you about how I got? Did Dan tell you I got? I got, and I'll tell you what. It was. I'm, I'm pretty sharp. I'm pretty sharp. I got done by some travellers or a traveller. Put on a really oh. good action. <laughs> fucking hell! I had to give it to him. I had to give it to him because, you know, I, I met him. I took it out of his packet. He, he took one out of a cup. Hang on a second. <laughs> I made some mistakes though. So he, he took it out. He took it out of out of the carton. Now look, for starters, was I fucking stupid to not to think to myself? They don't do it like that. They do it like in uh hang on. Yeah, put one in the top, that's a good one. <laughs> they do it in cardboard, don't they now? Yeah. And the thing is, right, I looked I looked at this this is it, right? I looked at the seal. Hang on a minute. One out from here. The yeah. colour difference, and then and I saw on his one he had the um you know the seals and everything like this. And I said to him, Where'd you get this from? And he and he put on an accent, he was fucking clever, I had a double coat on with the buttons, you know, the old school yeah, yeah. there. And it was it was off the cuff, it was really off the cuff. I was running low, and uh he goes, Oh, you could you could. He had like a Bulgarian accent or something because he's a truck driver. He goes, yeah, try it. So he, <coughs> he ripped one of these open. He ripped one of these open. He put some on my hand. I put some on my packet for my other one. And I sniffed it, tested it. I thought, yeah, yeah, you're not going to get one over me, matey. Right, I'm fucking too just like when that. you're testing a good woman. <laughs> she, she's... Roger, she's behind you. I know. <laughs> I don't, don't see no bloodshed on it. <laughs> don't see no bloodshed on it. Anyway, so I put it in there. I, I made it in a roll up, smoked it. Because even though it looks the same, you can smoke it and then your head goes like that. It's like sniffing poppers. Yeah. Not that I'd know how to do that. And um, it's all good. 
And then he started debating on the price that we agreed on. And and he saw me put out a wedge of notes and that. And then we did a deal in the end and he fucked off. And then I went to my mate's place because that's where he was outside on his industrial estate. And on the way home, I thought I'd have a roll up. I opened the packet up that he gave me. Open it. It's like fucking ginger pubes. It was fucking vile. So, well, a yeah, lot of people don't realise the stuff that comes from Europe is slightly different as well. It's not as refined as ours. No, no, that's true, yeah, like from Dubai and uh, um, Turkey. The other one that people don't realise is if you buy what you think are English fags and tobacco in Ireland, they're slightly different as well. Yeah. It's, it's not fake, fake, fake. It's not complete yeah. fake. So fair play right. to the fuck. And the thing is, right, because I was going to go, what it was, I was on the phone to my mate about these machines I fixed, not these ones, uh, these medical machines. And when I'm on the phone to him, he goes, oh, sorry, mate. Uh, no, no, no. Nobody smokes in here. Uh, no, no, it's all right, mate. It's okay. And I goes, oh, hang on a minute. What was that? He goes, oh, some blokes, a uh, truck driver selling cheap tobacco. I said, hold on a minute. Yeah. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. And then I said, look, keep him there. Get his number off him. So I drove up there in case you, and I got his number just in case. Got there, did the deal. And then when I got home, I realized the cunt dumped, sorry, the person done me. I had his telephone number. I rang it once, nothing happened. I misdialed it. I tried again about half an hour ago. And he answered, hello, what, what is that? I said, listen, mate, like Liam Nielsen, I was. I was like, Neil, I said, I'm going to find you. I don't know where you are, but I will find you like this. I was like, probably <laughs> Liam Nielsen. He goes, yeah, no, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, fella. I'll kick you. I'll smash your balls in. I'm a fucking traveller. I thought, who are you? He goes, you're the guy. You're the guy who just bought the tobacco off me in that blah, 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 blah state. I thought, you fucking... And he put on such a good accent where we were <laughs> before. So you should I have took the registration off. number and reported him for smuggling. No, no, no. He's walking around, he's walking around with his, like, shopping bag. Uh, and I said to him, do you know what, right? Do you know what? Fucking, I'll have to give you a see. Fair play to you. You got me. You fucking yeah. got me, you fucker. But, and that's how I leave it. Uh, I, I always say if it's a deal that's too good to be true, then it probably isn't true. Yeah, most of the time. You, you know but that's the ones. <laughs> you might have that, you might have that wife. Fairly... You might... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Heather. Sorry, right. I was just trying to say these are off the ferry. He, he does you know buy those them. wives, <laughs> the wives that caught their husband fucking a receptionist selling his Mercedes for 50 quid. It happens. <coughs> Well, I actually bought a Rover V8 SDI for, I think it was 15 quid I paid for it. What? And it was, it was yeah, it was a couple in the old town back home uh, had split up and the judge had ordered his missus to sell the car and give him half. But nobody specified how much she had to sell the car for. So she sold it to me. I think it was between 10 and 15 quid I give her for it. It was probably worth about four grand at the time. Wow. <laughs> but, he wasn't I mean, happy. Ross, Ross, I, I used to love the Rover. That's one of my first cars was the Rover 3.5 V8, the SD1s. Then I had yeah. the SD2. Then I had the, the Tess. Um, I had an 800. Then I had an 800 Twin Plenum, if you know what that is. Yeah, the eight, 800s were the... Uh, Front wheel drive ones when they went to front wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were, yeah. My, my dad Ranger. always had them. My dad yeah, always had them for towing. Yeah, Honda 2.7 V6 injection engine. 157 miles an hour, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I used to love the, the, the Rover. I used to race them. Um, I used to tow my race cars with them. Um, um, the best one that my mate had, we found in a scrapyard, believe it or not. It was a 4.2 fuel injected by turbo. 4.2? Oh, by he turbo. He pulled it out then. Yeah, and it had twin turbos fitted to it. Wow. But he had to he had to sell it. It just used to eat rear tires. <laughs> oh yeah, just definitely. And there's no traction traction control or anything like that back in the day. No. No, they were bare bones oh, driving, no ABS, no nothing no, like that. Yeah, I can say that no ABS as well. Yeah. 
Hell of a car, it's though. Stuart. Oh, we've got on to cars again. <laughs> Good evening, Phil. Welcome, buddy. I would like to get a hold of a, a, was it a P4, a, P, a P3. As I'm oh, getting old, the, the old alloy bodied one. Yeah, and the, and the smell of the proper leather, the vintageness of it inside. I love that. You know, when I go to a car show, I stick my head in. Oh, um, I used to sniff the snake seats, but that wasn't for the leather. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Stop. Oh, I'm thinking it's Sunday night now. I know. Sunday I'm trying night. to hate myself. It's your birthday. And Heather's here as well, obviously. Heather's uh, always here. She, she can hold her own in those sort of conversations, mate, believe me. I know, but I'm still I'm old <laughs> like you and I treat lady women as ladies and all that stuff and hold the door open. Yeah. And, yeah, well, you, you know I me, I, I very rarely swear on here. You know, I might throw in the odd F word and that. The C word I very, very rarely use. Yeah, I've got to word. be really, really uptight and annoyed about something before I use that. Or, I mean, or, I have called Sunak it a few times. <laughs> oh, talking of Sunak, he's in Thatcham tomorrow. I've got a friend of mine. He's, um, he used to be, oh, how can I, I don't want to dox too much, but he used to be head of of a main, really big, major car company in the world um, in the IT and security side of things. Now he's working for a company that manufacture all the gearboxes for every F1, Formula One car and this Red Bull stuff and that. And it, he offers me, he says, look, I've got some tickets for Dubai this weekend if you want them. Oh, God, fucking passports went out on it. <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed to go anyway. No Long chance. Oh, kind of fallen out with formula one now it is too political it's all about the money since the americans started running yeah. the show i mean you've only got to look at the shit that's been going on the last couple of races you know so i don't know if i'm doxing sunak but he's in fact him in berkshire tomorrow guys if you want to know <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he only visits his own people doesn't he he won't come out and face the, the normal public like us. yeah yeah he eyes from us I mean, did you see that video somebody put up a little while back of his entourage going through London? Was that oh, him or Khan? No, it, it was Sunak. He had about 30 coppers on push bikes, mountain bikes, riding in front. Well, like in, like in um, was it North Korea? Yeah. That kind of thing. Um, really? Behind them, there was a load of coppers running on foot. Oh, yes, I did. And then, that. then you had half a dozen of the bloody armored Range Rovers, and then loads of police cars behind them. And there was that one little fat fucker that couldn't keep up with anybody. That's he went from I, the back, from the front that, to the back. Four, four or five months ago, wasn't it? I've never seen that. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. I thought, oh my God. You know, are you that shit scared of, of the people that you're supposed to be helping out here? And yeah. The they target. are. They're terrified, mate. They're terrified of what's coming, and it is coming. They, they if it's not it from us, themselves. it's from the other lot. But yeah, one way or the other, on themselves. That's all I can say. I, yeah, I am absolutely. quite. Tick I shouldn't say this, but I'm quite tickled pink to see this because, <coughs> yeah, that welcome to our world. We haven't got 31 million pounds being spent on bodyguards for us, and now he's going to spend 117 million protecting the fucking mosques. <laughs> <laughs> What can you do? You know, well, they, we, we, we've got young kids being raped on the fucking streets, people being knifed, and he and, wants to protect them. I see. <laughs> <Caught you. laughs> Hello. Hi, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> All right, princess. Hi. <laughs> Where did the Graham thing come from? Like, seriously, I don't know. You just randomly came out with calling me Graham one day. It just plucked out the air. It felt appropriate for the time, and it seems to fit. And it just fits. I don't know why. That's what I said to you day on Sunday. Happy Father's Day, Graham. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Fucking winner. <laughs> love it. Fucking well, love it. Started, anyway. Yeah. How do you help? getting better very very slowly it's getting better um i'm starting to be able to eat a little bit more variety of foods 
Um, my weight's coming up as well. Oh, for um, did you were losing weight? I lost a hell of a lot of weight. I mm. was, um, I got down to, I think it was about 45 kilos. What's that in stone? About seven stone, just under. Okay. That's, you are small, yeah. though, aren't you? You're quite a... Yeah, but the thing is, though, before all of this started, I was I was a fatty. I was 11.1 stone. Yeah, but yeah. You, you got to factor in your shortness. Yeah, I won't and, call and it your socks, call remember? Your shortness. It, was, it was the socks, remember? The socks. It was the heavy socks. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? But I still feel like shit most days, but it is what it is. Listen, you, you've seen the photos of me when I was uh, a little while ago, and I weren't exactly little. Look, Holly, uh, Holly, I've got it right. I've got it wrong, haven't I? I've got a mate of mine who's got a missus called Millie, but I call her Molly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the M, it's the M word. But listen, at the end of the day, listen, we all have problems and everything. If you wake up with air in your lungs in the morning, it's a good start to the day, and it's more exactly. than other people. Exactly. And this is what this is what I tend to say. People, you know, I tend to say, look, I'm upright and I'm not crying. So that's a bonus. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. It is. I mean, I, I made myself really ill. I went from, what was I, about 18 and a half stone. And I went down to about 11 in three months. Oh, do you like my um, Ramadan? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh. Um, we'll have all the bloody fireworks to go round here at the end of it. Oh shit! Oh yeah. But again, I, I can't. I just saying that. Uh, Ivor was saying that Formula One's getting boring. I mean, I'd never ever known them to put races on on a Saturday. But to do yeah. it because of no Ramadan. Yeah, you know why? It's because of the Ramadan. Yeah. Ramadan a ding dong. Because it, the, why? the countries they were in, the first, why didn't they just switch those two races for two others? You know? Evening, Rippy. Rippy. Hello, buddy. I could understand that this weekend, but why the weekend before? Because that wasn't Ramadan. That was the week before Ramadan. Yes, that's what I thought as well. Because it just started, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah. I, don't, I think it might be different countries and the, the position of the moon and all that bollocks. Well, the thing is, I've always believed that those countries that have got real, real bad human rights issues, uh, you know, you think of it, there's still beheadings out there, stonings and shit like that. I don't believe a circus like Formula One should even visit those countries. Yes, thank you. Like the football. Do you remember the football in uh, what country yep. was that? The 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 the, the European and the World Cup. Where was it? Uh, to, not Dubai. Worse, Emirates or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, where they built the new stadium. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. was it two years, two three years ago? I that mean, um, and then but Gary then... Lineker yeah. taking the, taking the the money. And he gives you, it all you the look what's about. happening in uh, Qatar. That's it, Stuart. That's thank the you. one. Thank you. Isn't um, that something you get up your nose? Yeah. <laughs> on the chest. On the chest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, see? But you've got the bloody football now. You've got, um, is it the Italians now? That Oh, yeah, if you come to our country, we're going to take you out and this uh, it's fucking. It's going back to what it was in the seventies with the with the violence and. Oh yeah, were well, they ultras? The ultras, isn't it? Ultra, it's like that's ultras. it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to get a drink. Do you want anything? Um, yes, yeah, please. Like the bar and um, what do you want? <laughs> um, for my I'll have a, I'll have a cracking. I'll have a cracking and coke and a packet of prawn cocktail crisps, please. For Mother's Day, I got a litre bottle. Of twelve-year-old Glen Morangi. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Got any muffins left? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Missy. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God! Who plugged her in? <laughs> who, who plugged in? 
lost souls. Oh, you should have seen them when, when they were chatting here Saturday. They only came in to visit on Saturday. We had a hell of a time, I tell you. <laughs> oh, my God, that muffin. Holy shit. Patriot. Yes, Rippy, uh, I, I can remember uh, the whole mob. Uh, <laughs> I, the only prof professional football game that I can remember going to was Oxford United when the wall fell down. Oh, when the wall fell down at the manor end. <laughs> there you go, there you go, girl. Get it on there. <laughs> I'm going to go for a piss because if I carry on watching it, I will piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> you need some tenor lady. Holy shit. Oh, my life. Oh, that was so funny. That fucking that muffin incident. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and there's me thinking it'll be nice to have equal women and blokes on the panel. <laughs> Oh. oh my god! Do you know what? I've, I've quite often said to Heather, um, Ollie, why doesn't she start a channel up just for women and do live streams just for the women? That's not a bad idea. You know, she, there's. I've got quite a few ladies. I, I'll call them ladies rather than women um, because I consider them to be ladies. Um, some of them will probably disagree with me. <laughs> um, Quite possibly. I'm, not, I'm no lady. I ain't no, no lady. I, I thought it would just be nice for the girls to have a stream of their own. You know, when she puts one up, send out the links as a, as a private stream. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys have got somewhere to go private without us blokes in there, you know. But you be in the background. You would. I was going to say exactly the same thing. She, she could run it from her computer upstairs in the office. And that would help us stop smoking. Right. There's no smoking upstairs. <laughs> but I, I don't know anybody that does it. I've never, ever come across a woman's only stream on YouTube. Or any other platform, to be honest. Girls only, girls only um, panels. Huh. It's probably because most of the, most of the, like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll cause ructions if I fucking say that. Never mind. I'll shut the fuck up. I mean, they more or less got a whole platform for themselves, haven't they? You know, <laughs> you know the one I mean. <laughs> well, yeah. But you got to pay for that one. Me, 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 um, you, if you dress up as a woman, you can get in. But don't forget, as soon as you say I identify as, that's as good as I'm pretending to be. Yep, I identify as a hexagon. Well, I've always thought laughter to be the most civilised sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. You want to hear some of the sounds I used to make? <laughs> uh -oh, the we do not want to know. No, no, no. There's nobody in there. Simon, is that a green screen behind you? Have you actually organised it like that? Because it looks like a green screen. No, that's all his uh, fruit machine collection. Oh, okay. Do you want me to wiggle my joystick? <laughs> Not particularly. Are you you are actually identifying as one of them, Paul? <laughs> I'll give you my PayPal account. No, no, it's a bit of a shithole in it at the moment. I can't be arsed. I've, just, I've, I've, I've had so much work lately, but it's okay now. Yeah, I don't oh, know if it's the if it's the lighting. Oh look! Oh look! Best wife ever. Please be my as well. Look, 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 look. Patriots beer. Oh, oh, I love these. Look at that. Add a fifty percent off. My, my uh, favourite. Ooh. Black pepper. You turn vegan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, more like Negan. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about. Negan like, from Wish.com. No, Negan from uh, Walking Dead. Oh, Popo. Yeah, I know, but you're Negan from Wish.com. 
<laughs> technically, technically, you are broke back mountain from wish.com. No, no, no. Oh um, yeah. Oh, no, you and you and Dan, you Ooh. and Pat are broke back mountain from wish.com. Jesus, I've brightened the life out of me that oh I've gone all dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how she usually sneaks up behind me and appears over my shoulder. But she's just sat in front of her own computer, and I thought she was stood behind me because all I could see was the big blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's when she's got Lucille in her hand from Negan. That's what you got to be worried about. Yeah. I called my. I got an incinerator, and I called it Lucille. It's you know like those big oil drums where you put all the stuff in, but. I call it Lucille because my kids have tried to kill me. I've got out there, they, they give me bags of rubbish to insinuate, all like cardboard and that stuff. And I put it in there before. And I've got videos of it. And I put it all in there and I'm just carrying on in the garden doing little bits and pieces. So they fucking <coughs> boom. They put aerosol cans in there. And all this stuff is exploded up in the air. And I've been <laughs> oh sorry. Apparently I'm quite loud. Uh, and yes, she has either. Um, Holly, do you, do you want to bang your link up in the chat there? Um, Someone's just asking if you've got a channel. Yeah, hang on a minute. I haven't been, I haven't done anything on it re lately because I haven't been well enough to to do anything. Um, but yeah, I will post a link to my paranormal channel. Well, now you got the uh, loan of a decent camera. Oh, what's that about then? What? No, um, Dan. Don't yeah, look like right. that. Don't get excited. No, no. He always gives out cameras, doesn't he? What's that all about? No, this no. one's only a loner. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, it is only a loner. Um, I will. I'll. I'll. I'll drop you a message and just sort of give you the gist. I'm scared. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying too much on here. Moderator, I'm not that you. kind of person. Oily boy. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time either. Oh, oh. He, he came up on the panel earlier, but he's having, I think he's having a few tech issues. Right, there you we go. Got, that, that I've dropped link in there. Right? I've, I've dropped my link. Heather's dropped my second channel, my other link. I've got them saved, so I just have them copy and paste them. I love having all these assistants. It's brilliant. <laughs> All these beautiful, beautiful female assistants, Roger. Absolutely. 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 What, what else have we got? I don't know. What's the other one? I don't know. That one there, Mrs. W. Oh, that one. Oh, I've Actually, subscribed. I, I thought it was something exciting. I've subscribed already. I can't remember what it's called. What? Well, I've just been asked what I'm drinking. 510 subscribers. Wow. Yeah, mine, mine's building slowly. I mean, I've, I've reached the target I always wanted, which was me 500, and we're a bit over that now, five and a half, I think it is. Yeah, you're a packet of cigarettes now, isn't it? Five, five, five. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I'm, you know what I'm like, Matt. I, I like to keep in touch with people that comment. I like to answer every comment. And if you've got too many people in there, I don't have time to answer, you know, hundreds of comments. And you with me because of what youtube does to me i get a lot of comments hidden so it probably takes me an hour and a half each day at the end of the day to go through everything and find the comments that youtube have hidden really that, what do you mean that yeah I, I probably get about 30 percent of comments and quite normal comments just a thumbs up or something they'll hide them well, hold on a minute, right? So when we moderate, I mean, Holly is uh, Holly. Have I got that right? I know it's fucking confusing because my name is actually Holly, but my internet alter ego is Molly, and I'm also Molly yes. on Facebook as well. You're trying to fuck me up without telling me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you admitted it. But making me, I mean, I've got, I've got two. I've got, I'm getting my kids' names wrong. I've got a five-year-old who's Paloma. I've got a ten-year-old as Pasha, and I'm getting them mixed up all the time. 
Oh, well, anyways, oh. going, back, going back to that. So when we moderate your channel, um, Roger, as moderators, we should see every ch chat that's Oh, yeah, on, on, the, on the live stream, I mean on my videos. Ah, on my daily videos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair you enough. know, I, I have to go into the analytics, into the dashboard, troll through all there. And some of the comments won't appear till the following week. I, I've had them pop up a month later. You know, it's 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 just YouTube. It's they've always been on my case since the first time they pulled me down, and I was only what two three videos into my YouTube history before I got banned the first time. <laughs> but in fairness, yes, yeah, some of the information I was putting out back then. Um, during the pandemic, uh, it was very scam, close to the mark. Pandemic. Although I had the proof of it, you still weren't allowed to put it up, like you know. But uh, and that that's going to get worse again now with everything that the government are bringing in. Mm -hmm. Yes. It yeah, is. Nathan. It, it they had me within the first <laughs> uh, month and a half, two months. I got pulled down. Um, twice and suspended twice um, for nothing really uh, one was misinformation medical misinformation and I think the second one was as well if I remember rightly have you noticed what well, is I, calm, I, calm, it's calm didn't it because now you can really you can talk about it more freely now but back then mm. fucking all, it's on you weren't you it was on yeah. you Yes. Yeah. Um, the other thing is now, as I've progressed and learnt more, it, I, I modify me what I put out uh, mm. to try and stay within the guidelines. Now, I, I mean, I had a big OR with YouTube. We had emails going backwards and forwards to the point where I was actually being contacted by a human being from YouTube, believe it or not. Oh. Oh. And what I actually did, I posted the emails. <laughs> and i that's why I named them the faceless cowards. You know, that YouTube's core value is freedom of expression. Yet every time they click a button, they break that core value. Or the fact finders. Oh, I love arguing with them on Facebook. If you, you look at some of the things I put on there, aimed at them, comments deliberately to them, I, I but, love it. The thing is, Wild right? so when we're, we're going back to those days, uh, two or three years ago now, isn't it? and they were like shutting you down for it, mentioning the C word or the B word or all that kind of stuff, but it was down to this. It's like this. Like, I, I don't know what your thoughts are on this person, but I've just given an example. Like when he's reporting outside some, I can't, I think, was it Luton or some some court case, and he gave out the names of the persons they were in there, then he got arrested. But the trouble is, the B, not the trouble is, the fact is, the BBC had produced those names themselves, but he got arrested yeah. for it. But the B, do you understand what I'm saying? It was such yep. a, you know, but they, they pick and choose who they want to attack and oh, bring right. down. I mean, I, I had one bit of information there. I can say it now. I've never posted it, and I've actually destroyed the computer it was on. What? I had a list of all the batches of a certain intervention, the 5,000 dose batches from all manufacturers, and alongside the list, it had the numbers of how many people were injured, how many people had died from that dose, um, from the one batch. And that was from all manufacturers covering all doses. Now, can you imagine what would have happened if I'd have put that up? Yeah, yeah. I, I sat on it for so long. and Is, this, is it out there in public domain now, though? I, I haven't checked. I haven't checked. And no, it was on an old that. Windows 7 laptop. <laughs> no, um, we, we took that up the range and the, I shot the shit out of it with the air rifles <laughs> before we destroyed it. <laughs> but I did pass that information on to somebody and I it, I don't think they'd have it now. Um, 
it's someone I don't particularly like and I could get them into a lot of trouble by saying they've got it if they've still got it, as it were. Uh, but I'm not I remember you, you spoke about this before, didn't you? Some months yeah. back. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah. In the back, in I, the back of the fucking great greatness. I per video, I probably used to do at least two days searching, looking, finding information. Um, I used to get information passed on to me. Obviously, um, some from America, even some from Australia. I used to get uh, same with um, Canada. I used to get a lot of information passed on to me from there. But I wasn't stupid enough to actually publicise it because I could have got into a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, it's a target. But, yeah, but there's no no proof that I've got it other than me talking about it and. That, that ain't no proof, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, but a lot of it now is out in public. We know what happened. Most of them admitted what they'd done. So, you know, it's not needed. But back then, it would have been hot news. Uh, you know, and it was no good passing it on to somebody like mainstream media because they would never have put it out. No, they would never have put it out. <laughs> because it would have been totally against the narrative. <clears throat> but no, I, I had some quite horrifying stuff sent to me in the past. Um, yeah, you know, I could have started a web page, a website up and put it on there, but I didn't know how to do a website or anything. Well, I still don't. Um, some of it I did put up on BitChute um, because YouTube wouldn't accept it. That's why they pulled me down. Um, but that was mainly facts and figures again. Uh, it was nothing that was hidden, though. It came from NHS Scotland, Health Scotland, which is part of the NHS. And I made the mistake of posting a link to an article that had the link to this information. And YouTube banned me for another fortnight for that one. Rob, good evening, buddy. Yeah, well, um, W. Bloody, I haven't seen him for a long time. I he's you, he's regularly on my Friday streams. Regularly, yeah, I know. I just kind of like I've tried to when I get low on money because <laughs> I'm self-employed. I kind of like pull away from YouTube because it's it, it it does suck you in, doesn't it? It sucks you in, you know. And you are watching the streams and that, and so like not like just re well for the past few months, I've kind of like. Get to bed early, get up early, try to live a normal life again. Because during the lockdown, it's different. You, fuck me. I'll be up until three, four o'clock in the morning. Some, yeah. and sometimes oh, the curtain, there's fucking light out there. I mean, you could you, you could do things like order alcohol at three, four o'clock in the morning. Someone will come and deliver it to you. But, you know, things have changed. It's, it was hard I mean, to we, get we out used of that. To on Dan's stream, I think we sat there till four o'clock one morning, wasn't it, Ollie? Yeah. Yeah, a little while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't well, know he's, he's, done, he's, he's done them. He's done them until bloody six o'clock in the morning before now. Oh, and then yeah. some. Oh, uh, then some because I'll be, I'll be, it's about to go to bed at like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock, and I'll be clicking, flicking through, and because I don't know, I, I don't know if it's because I subscribe to so many people, blah blah blah, and I get the notifications. And there was Dan with a few of his cohorts. Is his birthday? Oh, well, fucking hell, Dan. Because fucking oh god bless. I said, mate, it's like 4:30 in the morning. He says, How are you doing? I said, How are you doing? Oh, fuck it. I said, like, we all the small alcohol. Do you remember that night when oh. the fuck's going on here? Remember, do you remember when Dan's birthday when we was about to go to bed during the lockdown? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that was another three or four hours on top of that. Hello, Mrs. Simon. Sir, it's not Sarah, is it? Um yeah. no, that's the other one. Uh, um, well done, <laughs> well done, <Rog>. well done. <laughs> this is where I get so fucking confused. There we go. See, look, he's confused. He's an old boy. He's a, uh, there we he, go. he is. He's eighty today, so cut him some slack. I'm not. I'm not looking at them. <laughs> okay. He said he's, he's eighty today. It's his birthday. Yeah, he's 80 today. 80th yeah. birthday. Yeah. No, I... Eh? 
80 years old? No. No. <laughs> Ever. You're, you're in the war. <laughs> No, I, at the moment, because I'm on, <clears throat> you've got YouTube have fucked around with everybody's names. Now, I'll get a comment up and I'll have to go into that comment because it's just a load of numbers to find out who it's from. Then I go on Facebook and the people in here that I know have got a different name in Facebook. Yes, yeah, yeah. Then you go in Discord. And they've got different bloody names again. And after the strokes, I'm like, what, 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 what? It's like an overload, a head fire. Fuck Discord. I'll tell you what I do like is um, Twitter or X, what you want to call it. That's no, a good stuff of information. I, I just do it just to see what people are publicising. You get some good stuff on there. Either that or Telegram. Uh, I've, um, I've, I've sent you a message on Facebook, Princess. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, you're Rob W on all of them. I know that one, Rob. Um, and there are a few that have had to change their names to be allowed back up. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Fucking hell. BBB, CTT, what, what, what? Oh, you're after some Bushmills, are you? Well, Pierce and I said that the he's 30 miles away, I think he said, uh, from their distillery. Um, and they do a nice 50 year old. Um, but yeah, well, I'll ask cousin Maureen because she's only just outside Belfast. Go back, you're not really 80, are you? Well, Roger? Mean her area. Hey, how old do you say, what 63, mate? Lies, lies, he's 80. Lies. And if you'd have come in earlier, Simon, I went, I had a, a page up of everything that happened the year I was born, what houses would cost, what the wages were. And do you know the worst one? Go on. <laughs> I'll let you up in a minute, guys. Um, actually, on my birthday was the day on my birth date in 1961. Ken was born. I knew he was only a little bit older than me. 80. Heather, you're going to go to hell for that. That's really, that's not really nice, is it? <laughs> I, I know he's only a little bit older than, well, quite a bit older. Why than are me. you blaming, why are you blaming Heather? I'm the one that said it. <laughs> oh, Hi, it guys. So sorry, well, Heather. what's happening? Hey, boys. Well, well we, you've got a stable connection for once. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, well, normally well, you we, sound like Norman Collier. I, I asked him how do I get the chat up as well. Ma, I mean, Ma, it's, on, it's unreal. I don't realise we've got 5G. It's only on the 4G. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've got five grams as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, ain't, you ain't got any hair to smoke there, Paul. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to call party out in Amsterdam. Or I don't drink, mate, and I don't smoke the herb anymore either. Oh, I bet you don't have to smoke it, motor. You don't have to drink. You can eat it. <laughs> no, I, I gave up drinking about 15 years ago. I, I didn't like the person I used to become when I was drinking. Last time I, I was drunk, motor, be the I used to tell the big Greek man, so that was me. I gave up all the time. I used to grow all these antlers and things. <laughs> don't do. <laughs> No, even when I used to come <laughs> over to Ireland, I, I'd only drink the Smithix anyway. Yeah. Well, thing, though, when uh, when you're I around, was what... WLR about Bushmills. Bushmills is literally what twenty one miles away from us. No, but we got more. Not not much more now. It's about half an hour just up the road. There's a lot of Chinese comes over this way, goes for a tour around it and whatnot. And the nicest one, it's a wee bit on the expensive side, as it's a, a 50 year old Blake Bush. It's, it's smooth. It, it's smooth. You'll enjoy that there for a whiskey, like. Oh, you should like a 50 year old fast. Bush. Which she's got a bit <laughs> what the hell was that, Terno? 
I bet you got a bottle of I got you I bet you got a bottle of buck fast down there. They were uh, oh, like, you're all right. You're all right. Oh. Got wrong. Uh, I try my food. I try my best to avoid alcohol. So I'm like Roger. Don't need it. You're not. So, you're not. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm you're not married, then, are you? <laughs> you no <laughs> women in your life. You're not married. Nope. Divorce. Do me and her mum's long divorced, but she's she's sitting in the kitchen along with the grandkids at the moment. <laughs> oh. oh shit! I haven't made up the phone. Hold on, we'll bounce back, but uh, back in in two seconds. I just need to mute my phone before it starts ringing. <laughs> no worries, mate. Two seconds. <laughs> They've got a twenty-one-year-old Bushmills on the website, and that's hundred and sixty quid. How much do they want for something that they've had for fifty years? I'm not paying that price. <coughs> Yeah, I, I, I must have a look. See, could Maureen sent me her address. I must have a look at <laughs> where it is, see if they're anywhere near Paul. Look, I've got people in Dublin. I've got people up north. Uh, most of the family at uh, the West Coast, uh, Sligo and around that area. Um, but a couple of the girls have moved up north now, a couple of my cousins. And oh, I've got one Irish over here as well, Michael, my cousin Michael. Yeah, take care, Ivor. Look after yourself, buddy. Oh, and they're manage, back. I might manage the 10-year-old at 36 quid. Sorry about that, Roger. <laughs> it's just so Lena doesn't <laughs> fuck up the channel because of the song that I've got. <laughs> that is a brilliant song. Uh, we, we've had um, Steve Boily Boyle. Um, he come in earlier on. He's been having a lot of issues. It keeps coming up, device not connected and shit like that, you know. Has he turned the device off and turned it back on? Yeah, he, he has the same issue on Dan's some nights as well, on a Sunday, unfortunately. Might be a signal. Yeah, yeah. it could be a signal. Um, most of the time he's on a phone as well. Yeah. So, you know, they're not as reliable as a laptop or a computer. You were talking earlier on. I did send you a picture of this here. Oh, my God. A TR7. TR7. Yeah, but look at the state of that. That's a one of a kind. It's, it's a drop. drop. That's a Targa roof. Tra yeah, Targa. British Leland never made those there. Yeah, the nearest, that the nearest the one they did to that was the TR8 with the uh, drop top, the canvas roof. Yeah, and the TR5 and the TR5 with the um, uh, on the gear stick. What was it? Oh, oh, what about, what about, what about, what about, yeah. what about the old stag? Oh, I was you bitch. I was about to say about the stags. That's not a stag, though. That's a triumph, still. Yeah, no, there's that man, the stags. Says, I haven't seen one in a long time. I'm like, the other, the other thing with that, with that, with that, with that, with that, that, that body. Was probably for the American market because it's got the oversized bumper on it. Yeah, uh, when it's suspended. I, I joined that we had TR7 group <coughs> there. My, my father resort a yellow hardtop, and now he's doing that one. He passed away just before he got finished on the convertible. But the convertible, you want to have seen that man. Oh, she was beautiful. He had another hardtop shell done as well. Is that? He's retired. So it was. He just passed away, literally two weeks before his seventy-eighth birthday. Ladder, nothing would ever stop him. Well, you want to see? You want to see what this man achieved through his life? He ran a TV shop, garage at the back, worked in other people's houses, a wrecking area of putting water turbines into rivers away back in the early fifties. I don't. Ex I mind him telling me he built a cinema. And I found out after he passed away that like, him and our friend actually ran the cinema. They built it for themselves. And that must have been a way back around the 50s. Well, I, my Uncle Bob, who died, what was it, a month ago now? He worked for British Leyland Competition. He'd done his apprenticeship there. He used to build the Minis, um, the Austin Healy's, and... The TR7 V8 that they rallied. I've actually driven Tony yeah. Pond's car. And he also worked on the 6R4s. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. That, that car was left to me after my father passed away. 
and I have gone at the this boy here, so uh, he's a proud owner of it now. Well, if you want to see anybody or know anything about those cars, um, what what they called? I'm trying to think of what they called on Facebook now. Um, Fucking rusty. The, the MC competitions. Yes. Yeah. All the guys that used to build the cars from the MGs, because I used to go up and see them at dinner time, because I used to work at the MGs. The we MGs, beautiful um, car as well, man. Yeah. Not, they're still um, back over here. Me, me Uncle Bob was one of their top builders. <coughs> we had guys, messages from Australia, um, Sweden, um, all, all the top drivers. I've got messages from them on Facebook, you know, saying how sorry they were when my Uncle Bob had died. And um, RT was one of them, um, not Kankanen. Um, there was another one. And um, Ken, 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 was it Watts? God. Who he moved, he was one of the designers. Um, he moved to Australia, and we even had a message from him of condolence. Oh, and at his funeral, they actually bought some of the lads bought up um, one of the Monte Carlo minis, the original one, yeah, and also one of the Monte Carlo. Um, oh, fucking hell! I just said the name of it. <clears throat> this is where my mind goes blank. The Austin Healy three thousand. Oh my god! I tell you, <laughs> do you, I tell you, another wee car I had a long time ago after my wee mate got murdered. One of my brothers told me it was up for sale, and I got, I, I bought it. And she was all rally, rally my car. Murder, did you say? Yeah, it was nineteen. It was actually a policeman's son, by the way. Also, that he was wrong place, wrong time. He's a food cart. There's a fight broke out way all the ones from the village he came from, and he thought they were just out to get anybody from that area, so he ran. And it was there was over. 30, 30 to 35 of them kicked a lot to death as well as principal up and that's where he passed away two years later uh sorry three years later his mother passed away broken heart two years after that his father policeman he broke he passed away as well now as as father's <coughs> now we have he was nicknamed bobby because he actually looked like a baby even at 19 years old now they're a lamb rest brightly lad from a family of police officers, by the way, I will say, a clear, I will say that here. Um, 35 of them, even in their statements, one of them wrote, i put it on because I read it at the time of the court hearing. I danced on his head, and the most I them got done with was six months GBH. What? That's you heard me mad. right. Oh, you heard me right. No. Was no, he a Palestinian supporter? <laughs> no, Bobby, Bobby <laughs> wasn't into you. I, I know where you're coming from, I respect to you there, man. Bobby wasn't like that there. He's, I'll be honest with you, he would, uh, he would like to kill himself and rally in cars because uh, the wee car I was telling you about was actually a Wolseley a Hornet. Oh, I remember those. I yep. remember those. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Wolseleys. I haven't, yep. I haven't seen one of them in a long time since that. There. No, nor me, nor me. I've seen a few up and down England, them on the wee rally elves. I will see more elves. Oh, the right. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're them as well. And then, do you remember the hell name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. hell, how old are we on there? Well, we hit, well, we hit the Mark III Cortinas and the old Sweeney Granadas. We'll go down that road now. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want horsepower. <laughs> Yeah, no, Max you're talking. Horsepower. No, you're talking. Thank. Did, did <laughs> I use ever do the the bulldog by Slayer? Yeah, down Banbury. Yeah, it's Brilliant. shut now. Yeah, yeah it's a hard haven't been over a long time there. Yeah, it oh, shut yeah. down a few years ago. They changed it from Long Marsden to Avon Park, and then it went under the name of Shakespeare Raceway, and then it just fiddled out. They're actually going to build on the site now. Roger, you talk about Banbury as in Oxford? Cheers. Yeah. No, oh, but yeah, uh, you know about that? the Bulldog Bash used yeah. to be run at Long Marsden, which is um, 
What's the next one over? Call God bless the UK. I see if you told me you, where you were from. I would actually pinpoint that. No, not pinpoint that. I'm 34 years career wagon driver, class one. Are you? Long time. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> now, just because I'm across, across the shock here from you doesn't mean to say you're that far away. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know. And I, we, you and I, we've, we've chatted before, <coughs> we've chatted yeah. before haven't we? Because um, I, I see what's going on. You're, you're Northern Ireland, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and I see what's I... going on with Phil, uh, Dwyer, Dwyer and all those people and that. Fair play oh. to you guys. Ma, Fair play to was... you guys. As, as, as metal here at times, uh, you only see the way the police try to cover up. I even trying to get BWC, CCTV footage. They go on now uh, six months later. Oh, your kid it still hasn't been allocated. But above all, they said, yeah, give her work. They see the way they're trying to cover up what happened with Corian, what happened with CJ down there, and Lauren at uh, Piano Ferries. Uh, here's here's Daryl. Where the police tried to kidnap him the morning of my court case. That it's, oh, you see the way they're trying to cover that up, but we just got more funny yeah, yeah. evidence there. That there last night played, which the cops don't know. The ombudsman's not doesn't know yet. Nobody knows. No, but the ombudsman knows and getting it. But between us at the moment. Sorry, go ahead. Ombudsman knows I'm getting it. Um, from that, that, from that there, that the ombudsman will likely no doubt do their best to close these cases, including <laughs> Nathan's here. You've seen the video going up there, Robert. You couldn't have done a better perfect thumbnail. Sergeant Tam Norton's. Morton. Mor Morton. Well, well, sorry, I call him Mo Sergeant Moron. His name badge, his picture, and the check. Uh, hang it for a fun yeah, deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Admitting guilt by paying. Yes. <laughs> oh, Dan's well, actually got um, a court order now for the Met Police to give him back his phone. They've had that for nearly two years. That's about time he done that, there. That's about time Dan done that, there. Yeah. That's, well, I we had a judge over here uh, back last year. Um, a case went up in front of him because the police wouldn't hand back the stuff. And he deemed by law that 60 days was more than enough time for them yeah. to collect data from any 30 device. days is more than enough time, Roger. Yep. So it is. Yep. No. It's, was... um, it's revenge. It's They just inconvenience you. That's why they do it. Yep. Big time. That's why they do it. Now, well, I'm not, I've am i been putting that letter out on our page there now a good few months since I learned it from Marty. I, I think it was really Marty Blackborough done it there. It was. No, he, got, he got the stuff back. I got the stuff back for someone else. I got it all out. And I, that's burst it open. We're trying to get that out as much as we can. But, but still, no, I mean, still not or try and tell people even but that once what you can get out of your... Subject access request is unreal for the amount of them. I mean, it is it's bloody obvious what they're doing. I mean, when they raid somebody, uh, Belfield was a perfect example. I mean, that prick deserved everything he got, but they took his microphones, they took his what? screens. What, what, what good is that? You've got the computer, <laughs> yeah, it's to try and stop you starting up again. Oh, big that, thing. that's why they do it. Sure, see, see that time they came at me there down away last year. That was all they were interested because cops were in my house about a week, two weeks before that. And they seen that red laptop sitting on the kitchen table. And they were going mad in this house looking for that red laptop. Yeah. And they said that they were looking for mobile phones. Nice thing about it, I don't keep anything in my home. <laughs> well, we, we actually had turn up here. Now, if I let, let me show, <coughs> show you the where I sit and what gear I got. Now that's that's my setup. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, with with the tower system underneath here. Now we had to, 
the NCA turn up, the National Crime Agency. We knew they were coming. Oh, no, why didn't that camera come back on? We knew they were coming because they made an appointment. Um, it was nothing to do with us. It was something to do with where Heather was working. They, they were investigating one of their customers. But they both turned up here. And the first thing he said as he walked through the door, oh, I'm interested in all this. What do you do? I said, well, I do YouTube. He said, what do you do on there? I said, we cover police corruption. <laughs> <laughs> and he knew damn well I was filming. I had fucking cameras all around the place. Well, you have to. You have to even and have them bastards involved. Oh. Every, every time I asked him a question, he sidestepped it. I, it, it was a financial thing. Heather used to work for an accountant's. That that's what they were investigating. One of their customers had been naughty or something. And uh, I, I kept saying, you know, well, what do you think of the immigrants? Because you lot are involved in that. And, and he, he just can't <laughs> he say a fucking word. But I, it was so that funny. Was, that, that, I made that, him, that was tame. I, I was sat here. Heather was sat in her chair. There was a female officer sat in the, the chair opposite her. And as soon as he walked in, he said, oh, you've got a cat. I don't like cats. So I put one of them oh, dining hey, chairs hey, hey. up under the window and said, well, you can fucking sit up there out the way then, can't you? Because the cat ain't leaving. <laughs> uh, uh, it yeah, was yeah. funny. Good night, Rob. You off, Rob. All right, buddy. Take care, mate. And uh, we'll probably see you Sunday night on uh, Pat Live. Roger, Sorry. how's this live going? Is it better? Eh? Is this your live better no, uh, the night? Uh, we, yeah, uh, I mean, the, the viewing's dropped a little bit just now, but they always do when we start talking about cars. <laughs> um, but well, the, the way I'm looking at about... it is, me, me Friday one, starting at four, ending at seven, is slap bang in the middle when... People are picking their kids up from school. They're getting home from work. They want a yeah. meal. They want a shower. So by the time I finished, I, I thought you were walking up behind me again. <laughs> <laughs> um, by, by the time they've got in and had a, sh I've, I'm finished. You know, I'm, I'm done. I'm shut down. So for now, I'm going to try and do it on a Wednesday night, seven till ten. Yeah. One, it gives people more chance to get in. Yep, and mm -hmm. as I said earlier, doing three nights of streaming on other people's channels as well Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with, with the fatigue, it absolutely wipes me out, and that's why I don't usually do a video on a Monday. Yeah, that, that's my rest day, you know. But, yep. um, if, if this works and everybody's happy doing it, then I, I'll, I'll keep to Wednesdays, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll call in with what people want. I know you guys are busy on a on a Friday. Let's see if yeah. you can live with tomorrow being Thursday, not Saturday. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, now, now I'm all over the place. Now I think it's bloody. I, th I think it's bloody Friday today. Yeah. And what's worse, it's now half past nine at night, and I'm there going, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? Well. You know, because with with Kevin in your head as well, that that's the sort of issues you. I have the same, you know, with the memory, with the strokes and that. Mm -hmm. I, I lost a year earlier on. I was chatting to somebody and I'd lost a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it happens. More. It happens. Yeah. I mean, my 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 memory will just lit. Well, my my brain will just like switch off like mid sentence or yeah. what was it the other day I walked I, I came I came downstairs um and stood here just like staring into our space and gr himself was <coughs> like he was like are you okay and I was like can't remember what I'm doing or why I'm here but I'm here and still to this still to this day I cannot remember why I came downstairs by making a cup of tea and you put oh. the milk in the cupboard and you put the sugar in the fridge. That's what you fucking done that. 
Uh, the kitchen is the other kettle side in the fridge. The kitchen is the other side of this wall. I'll walk from here out into the kitchen, and by the time I've got there, it's an old joke, but it happens. I totally forgot why I went out there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. It's down there, guys. The thing... oh. All that, you made you guys have a cup of tea, then you have to get a little teaspoon and just like, uh... did I put sugar in it? Um. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and it's not just the strokes. Now, as some of you know, I had um, a blood clot on the brain. Was it 2014, wasn't it? And Heather noticed my memory had started to change then. I, I didn't notice it. I've noticed it since I've had the strokes. But until she pointed it out to me, I never noticed it after the blood clot. Mm. Um, she also said my attitude had changed a lot. Um, you it, rise to temper far easier. Yeah, I, I was always a calm, collective sort of thing, but I started getting worked up very quick, and yeah. I, I would just come out with it. I, and and yeah. I've never been the most subtlest person. Anyway. Was, as we get older, as we get older, mm -hmm. we'd suffer fools. You know what I mean? It, it, as you get older, mm -hmm. you just realise, oh, just See, fuck off. That's what it's yeah. down to. It might not be down to your medical conditions. Stop saying that. Older, yeah. Yeah. Else, well, I... See, mine, mine is probably going to get worse after my surgery as well because obviously they've said that when when they take this out, I've got like I can't remember what percentage they said, but I've got I've got the risk of of having like memory issues, sight yeah, issues, silly. speech issues, all of that. Um, yeah. So yeah, chances are I won't even know who the fuck any of you are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, princess. Fuck you, princess. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Gay boy. Gay. Oh. 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 Told you. Break back mountain from wish.com. Anyway, moving on. Well, welcome, Russell, by the way. Look, Thank you very much for the birthday. We just get things, and there's so much shit going on in the rest of the world, like. Electricity bills and the government and Brilliant. NHS Class. is broken. Class. We're just, you, you put things in priority, don't right. you? Please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Replying to her. Prioritise things no, in life. Can't the pressure. Shit. Not swayed. The name's all up there. No, no. Yeah. But, no, no. We'll talk about that after. Mm -hmm. on that um, that can cool. I do, Russell, are you are you new sub tonight? Uh, or is that another name that I know you by? So, sorry for waiting for replies, but there's a, a lag between StreamYard and YouTube. Right. And, and the mods are on it. Anyway, go to channel. Yeah. I, 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 oh, no, he's a genuine channel. Um, yeah, he is. It's just a name that I haven't seen in here before, that's all. Mm -hmm. But welcome, Russell. Um, as the description said, it's zero tolerance. So I, I don't play idiots in here. Anybody misbehaving. Mm -hmm. And the other one is we don't allow comments in all capitals. And congratulations on putting sugar in your kettle. Um, <laughs> as it, you are halfway. You are halfway. <laughs> this is the thing, right? You are halfway to doing it the American way by doing that because that's what they do. They'll get a kettle and put it all in a kettle, like yeah, milk, tea bags, <laughs> and then just drink it. Ew. Up kettle. Easier. Oh. <laughs> no, you're all right. So what? So what about people's not computer mind and dyslexia? Just stumble. What was that, Paul? What about yeah. people with dyslexia no worries, and not computer mind it and actually don't they don't know they're actually writing a couple of letters? Give everybody a chance. So you want to see the way I go through people? <laughs> you want to see the way I go through people's procedures and companies over that one there? <laughs> 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 See whenever like and they're coming off the phone, they can't and they they're sitting saying thank fuck he's off the phone. Um, um, I enjoy, I enjoy me. I got uh well the that, that day the police are Belfast Harbour. We had gone around and done about a video on all our cars we knew tickets on for a pen display. Because uh, we have we got a ticket for parking, considering we had a ticket for pen and display. It's still under dispute. 
Uh-huh. They're all under dispute. They're not taking the evidence mm-hmm. on. Not prepared to meet us or anything else. Got, but I come down, I got them on the phone. And this last uh, must have been on for an easy four hours, if not more. <clears throat> I got them on meeting that they were doing and discriminating against people's learning with learning dis- difficulties, disabilities. You say not, you say nothing, and yet, yeah, we man on the on, kept them on there for near enough an hour. Uh, but 40 minutes into it, I turned around and he goes, Now, I must let you know, you've just admitted to all these. <clears throat> Breaches, um, <laughs> things you, you're not standing up for, nothing's in your policy to look after and protect disabled people. I'm going to and you've made an admission on that. There he goes, yeah, that's right. Well, I must let you know, you're on a live stream broadcast here right now. The thing is, it's, it's <laughs> hard when they've got the upper ranks covering up for them as well. Yep. You know, well. a lot of the times you're on a losing case with them. Uh, they're so corrupt, the same as the Matt. Well, all the forces over here, Roger. I shit you not. There's two guys that are sitting in the court with me. I said, uh, I defended oh, myself. Fuck. No, here, when, here we go. I stood and turned around and called a cop a liar to his face. The judge removed and kicked him straight out. The what <laughs> called the special branch informer a liar. Well, not out of him as a special branch informer. Because he tried to deny it in the court, and I offered oh, all the witnesses up, <coughs> and also evidence. The judge didn't want to see him. Got rid of, rid of him. Then I, I turned around and now I left it. My people were me. I was already struggling a lot of time with the reading. I was getting the better, mate. Called it a kangaroo I, court. He started. I off stood there as well. Turn, turn around to the judge's face. Sure, it's only a kangaroo court. Anyway. I walked around with a folder, paperwork, and I, I was prepared to walk up in the witness box, didn't give me evidence, whatever. I'd already walked around, and then the judge says, bring your paperwork with you. <laughs> <laughs> they see the matter, he Thank says out there. It's I when they walk, say, bring your overnight bag, it's time to worry. <laughs> I go, let paperwork here. Sure is not a fucking kangaroo court. Clean up and I clean up in the air. I well, landed I down about. One, um, oh Christ! I'm, I'm going back to the seventies now. Um, I was up in front of the beat for motoring offences on motorbikes, and I turned up in court. Me dirty jeans, me cut with the patch on the back, me helmet. Yeah, and they, they went through the case, and obviously I pleaded guilty. I caught banker rights. Uh, you know, if I if I'm in the wrong, I'll hold my hands up. Yeah, I'll, I'll as you do. And they looked at me before they passed me the fine, and he said, "Now I'm going to ask you a question." I said, "What's that?" He said, "Well, normally when people appear in front of us, they dress up, they'll put a suit and a tie on." I said, "Well, what's the actual point?" I said, "You know, I'm a biker. I'm here for motorcycling offences." Now, if I walk in in here in a suit, what are you going to think? Oh, he's trying to impress us. I said, so I am who I am, and I, I don't hide that fact. And he actually dropped me fine by back then, was a lot of money, dropped me fine by a fiver for being honest. <laughs> <laughs> Give us just respect him for that, then. I mean, they fined me for diving off the bridge in Abingdon into the River Thames. Would you believe? What the fuck? Here is. <laughs> now, I, I stood in court and I said, well, it's not illegal. I said, there's actually two nails in the wall to tell you where the middle of the bridge is for the deepest part. He said, no, that those two nails actually held the sign that said, by law, no diving or jumping from this line. <laughs> Well, there was no sign there. <laughs> and they find me, I think it was a fiver at the time. But... Uh, <laughs> Right. But yeah, I mean, I've had some good run-ins with the law, um, especially in the motorcycling days, obviously. Uh, one or two with the cars. <laughs> but, uh, That's not the folks all fever. Was you, you only had to get a fork to open that and get her started. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was the sort of person that used to just pull up alongside them, wind the window down and say, you're up for a chase tonight, then boys are what? I mean, you can get away you Did you say you went to Abington Magistrate School? Yeah. Right. 
So it's all old school wood paneling. Yeah. 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 All the old oak panels. About oh, about twenty five years ago, maybe a bit a little bit longer than that. I come out of a rave. Off my head. <laughs> This is before the they did the swabs. And and I went, we were going to this free rave. And I was doing, I went past that camera as you go from Swindon, past Cable Cross and that, past yep. Shibbenham as a speed camera. Yeah. I was doing 120 past uh, past the 50. You know that one, you know what uh, I think you know which one I'm on about. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I got done for it. So it's it, by the way, this is a true story. I, I swear to God, it's a true story. But anyway, so I got caught doing 120 plus on this um, 50 mile an hour limit. So I stretched it out. I kept them saying I couldn't come to court and they kept them giving me dates. And I said, oh, I couldn't come because of this, blah, blah, blah. And it got to the point where they said, if you don't come to this point at this last court date, you'll be found guilty in your absence. <laughs> so anyway, we went up there. My mates oh, come with me in the car. And um, so I went to this courtroom. Now, what I'd done was the night before at uh, 3.25 in the afternoon for the court offices closed down, they, 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 they closed at 3.30 or something. I yep. rang them up and put, I put a plea in of not guilty. So the next day we drove up there. Well, the next day we drove up there for the court case. My mates come with me because they thought, yeah, you're going to get banned. And um, we go into this magistrate's course. We stood there waiting. And this geezer went in before me. Come out. He's crying. He goes, you're right, mate. He goes, no, no, no. He goes, what's the matter? He goes, I'm going to prison. I said, why? Why? What did you, what did you do? He goes, I stole some meat at Christmas from Mrs. My family. I said, nah, he'll be back out in a minute. <laughs> but me, he went back in, never come back out. Yeah. So, so we go <laughs> The police station was literally across the road from there. It um, is, yeah, the it is. yeah, yeah. It's really old school wood paneling, like something like the 1600s. Well, if, if you looked from the front at the Abingdon Magistrates Court, do you remember that there, there's a big stone arch? Yeah, yeah, yes. It's right right yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. to the left of that, that building on the left of that was the original police station Thorn. back in the 1800s. Wow. So I go, wow. So I go into the court. The magistrates are there, oh, and and the, and the clerk goes, "How do you how do you plead?" I said, "Not guilty." Then the prosecution goes, uh, no, "Oh, hold right. on a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, um, I haven't got all the evidence. I've got the police oh, officer, yes. whatever it is, the evidence to yes. go against me." And the magistrate has turned around to him and said, "Well, look, we've told told Mister Cheney. Oh, oh, I've doxed myself." <laughs> Yeah, fucking proper dots my teeth. He said, "We told him that this is the final date, and there's no, there's no more Germans. It's going to be dealt with today." And then the prosecution stood up there. He goes, "Well, I haven't got a police officer. Uh, all the evidence." And he goes, "Well, but well, and then the magistrate turned around to me. He goes, Mr. Cheney, okay, mm -hmm. this is your lucky day. This is your lucky day. He's had no evidence, so case dismissed." He's now the magistrate said to me. You're the first person ever to get off a is it a gaspo gaspo camera or something? Yeah. Doing that that Gap speed. Is it gaspo or gaspo or Gap, something Gap, like that? Gaspo. Yeah, that is, yeah. And they said to me, "You're free to go." And 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 the prosecutor is going mental because like, no 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 no. He goes, "Well, well, we told him, and we told you this is the final day." And then when I went out to my mates, <laughs> who were sitting, sat That's out exactly waiting for me. Good. They could give me the keys. I said, no. He goes, you got banned, didn't you? I said, no, I didn't. And it, oh, 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 oh. I was the first. I'll tell you what. I swear to God, it's a true story. When we was in the actual, the actual thing, the magistrate, magistrate started laughing because they got me. That I've, I've been non-convicted. And when they did that, then the clerks and everyone down below them started laughing as well. It's like a, a trigger. You know, like being in royalty. And I got off it. I got off it. I got off it. Well, everybody that used to get nicked in Oxford, they used to like coming down to Abingdon Police Station. They'd rather be taken there than St. Aldets because yeah. the breakfast <laughs> used to come from the broad face across the road or the crown and thistle. 
and they were posh restaurants. So you used to get it on China plates and fucking all sorts. That wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, it's no grease and bacon butter, mate. You had a full English on a big oval plate in your cell. It yeah, was not wonderful. my plate. I used to get nicked on a Friday night just for the breakfast. Went to town <laughs> get I mean, I'd walked in there. And they'd be like, good evening, Roger. Yeah, the cell's open. You know where it is. And I'd walk myself to the bloody thing. <laughs> just to sleep really? it off and have breakfast. <laughs> I mean, I went in there one day and they said, well, how did you get into town? I said, well, I come in on me motorbike. And he said, well, where's your helmet? I said, I ain't got a fucking clue, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it was like back then. Yeah. You know, the, the, the local Bobby, as we used to call him, I quite often come home on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon after riding the bikes around the pits and the fields. And he'd be sat in the bloody kitchen with my mother telling her everything I'd got up to. Brilliant. Really? Yeah. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I do like Love it. It's nice. Good girl. Good girl. Still a GDPR reach. We used, oh. to have a, we used to have a policeman that, that came to our house. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. The wee police station was actually inside the house on the state. Not it was just a house. He yes, actually used to come as soon as he landed there, he closed the gate first and stood outside and shut it because he wouldn't come to the door because of the two dogs. Kept <laughs> shouting out, shout out, shouting that. Us people we started like, what the fuck are we? <laughs> <laughs> if I was out driving or riding around, that they'd never chase me. What they used to do is go and sit outside my workshop and wait for me to come home because they knew I'd end up there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. But yeah, I did yeah, call yeah. an absolute cracker on them. You see, you see, I ridiculed them for months on it. My mate had a left hand drive Mark III Cortina. It come from, I think it came from France. Now, I'd got banned from driving the week before. And now they used to have a habit knowing that I'd be out on a motorbike somewhere or in a car. So the bastards used to sit at the bottom of my mum's road. So what I did, I got one of them kiddies fucking steering wheels with the suction, and I stuck it to the right-hand side of the dashboard. <coughs> I was actually in the passenger seat. So he's driven past this copper at the bottom of the road in his fucking little minivan or whatever it was at the time. And I've just gone like that as I've driven past, as he drove past. <laughs> <laughs> on comes the lights, pull over, they open the door, they drag me out, and I said, What are you doing? He said, You nicked your fucking band. And I still have this plastic steering wheel in my hand. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I dined out and got pissed on that for months. <laughs> the story got around, and this copper was so embarrassed. He never touched, never came near me for about six months. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Well, I'm going to call it quits in 10 minutes, people. That's 10 to 10 now. I did say 7 till 10. I try to keep them around three hours, um, literally because I'm on the free stream yard and I like to have a few free hours left at the end of the month if I need to put another one in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm too tight to pay for stream yard. So. An, emerg an emergency um, stream. You never know yeah. when you need that. Well, exactly. I, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah. I mean, I normally end up, you know, I do me four, three hour streams a month and that gives me eight hours clear. Um, there has been times where I've gone over. Yes, darling. I keep looking back. I can see her there. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't expecting you to, 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 to say, uh, oh, to let her talk know. so quick. I was... I was waiting for you to finish. Finish what, what you were saying. I forgot what I was saying now. Hey, what are you eating? Um, what are you munching? What are you eating, Simon? Oh, fucking nuts. They're really hard as well. These, these oh, we know things. you're that. We just asked what you're eating. <laughs> I don't know what they are. <laughs> right. um, I don't know what they are. Anyone they look like pistachios. There's, there's no, they're not. They're, they're fucking quite hard. Oh, is that like one of those braised bags with like the chickpeas and things like that in? No, they're, they're like 
Chinese. I did say I no, I said greys, not gays. I saw that I saw that fucking smile on your face. Gays. <laughs> They're Japanese. Well, I've still got half a tray of pigs in blanket in the fridge from last night. So Ooh. that might be tough. Ooh, yum. Japanese. Hang on a minute. Well, I'll I'll <laughs> Right, okay, I'll give it a I was going to say, when 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 I was going to say, what, do you good here. It, it's oh. nice to actually hear you guys with a with a stable connection. Oh, I know, yeah. I know that. Oh, yep. <laughs> but it is one for you, Ollie. You know, every morning no, no, no. I I take my meds and I have to have something to eat before I have them. Now I normally have them energy biscuits. You know, I'll have a pack of those, two of those before I take my medication. Right, right, right. Oh, I've run out. Yeah. So at four o'clock this morning, I'm sat here eating a pork and pickle What's pie. <laughs> Ooh, breakfast of kings. Watch the lead. Wow. That's your fit. There you go. That, that, is a, that is a breakfast. That is a breakfast. Yeah. yeah. A, a pork pie to take me pills with. It was 20 for now. It is rather now. Pork for breakfast, say. <laughs> Nah, Roger, yeah. we're going to bounce all out here and let you all be. And I see you and every one of you is a really, really good night. And thanks for having us on, Roger. You're so Big up broke. the Irish. Big up the Irish. Up. Big up the happy Irish birthday. boys. I've had a blown wink here. We'll turn around singing you, Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> no, I appreciate hey, you Roger dropping in, guys. Mrs. Mrs. WD. Good night, good to see you Everybody all. Everybody stay safe. God bless you, Kate, Mrs. W. Love Mariana, paranormal there. Roger, love you all. From the bottom of our hearts. Kate, yeah, Kate, she's in the blank. If not, Kate, she's on Sunday night, maybe. All right, everybody. Yeah, you will. Look after yourself. So, sorry, we quick one there. Are you still there? Stuart B. from Belfast there. Big respect to you there. I'll not person before I'll go, I'll go here. Anybody else there? Check out CJ Audits, Auditing Northern Ireland, YouTube. The guy's an absolute fantastic lad and the only one person who has got three balls in Northern Ireland to stand on audit police stations here. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. We, we tried to get him on there tonight, but uh, he hasn't answered any messages yet. He's probably been busy all day. Either that or he's been nicked again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Ho hopefully oh. not. Listen, you all right. Take care. And thanks again, Roger, for having us on there. Very, You're very more good than welcome, you, Paul. Right. And the lads. Happy and birthday, Roger. Brenda as well. Yep. Bye, boys. Happy birthday, Roger. Right. 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 man. Hey, right. Nathan, before you go, never forget the Scots, the, uh, the Scots and the Welsh and the English. We're all behind you guys. You're not alone. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Respect. Respect. Oh, and you likewise, guys, from us to you guys also. Together. Together. Sure. Really yep. Appreciate it. Together as one. <laughs> Divided we fall. Touch. 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 I'm going to get it. I keep forgetting where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Roger. What was that for? Speak to you later. We'll Bye. Stay in. Take guys. care, guys. See you. Look after yourselves. Uh, oh, what a lovely really stream we've had tonight, Rod. It's been I really what, good, hasn't it? Really good. We've had some good numbers in. Again, the the guys, you guys in the chat there, absolutely amazing. It is I, so nice. I don't know if, it, don't know if it's that. because it's a Wednesday or if it's because it's your birthday. Could be both. Um, Roger. To be honest, we... we the numbers have been about the same. We had a few more. It, it kept up higher at the beginning to start with. Um, but, yeah, no difference. I mean, my eyes are starting to go a little bit because it's getting on. But, no, mm. I've, I've coped with the later one quite well. And, 
I appreciate everybody in the chat there, obviously. It's too many of you to say goodnight to. <laughs> All in each other, as it were. But no, you guys, um, absolutely amazing as always. I always appreciate the support. Um, you'll never never get asked for money or anything like that on this channel. Um, I don't monetize. I never will. I do it because I'm passionate about what I put out in my videos. And literally these live streams uh, for you guys, like I used to put in the title, a catch up with friends going into the weekend and that's the way I want to keep it. So it's bringing, it's bringing family time. together. It's bringing family together. Yeah, yeah. And it now is. You're like doing, now you're doing. You're doing streams for Hump Day. Hump Day. I knew there'd be words like that coming. In. I tried to stay away from that one. Wednesday. Yeah, but Wednesday. Wednesday is Hump Day, though. There's there's no two ways about it. It is Hump Day. It's halfway through the week. But Hump Day means something totally different to me. And that could be any day. Wednesday's, Wednesday's, <laughs> Wednesday's child is full of woe. But um, no, guys, um, don't forget, Dan should be out as normal on Sunday night playing. Um, if any of you are free, feel free to drop in. That's uh, police abusing powers. And so, me. He from me, me as well. now, from Mrs. W. I'll um, ask my question next week. The rest yeah, of the no, no, ask, ask your question now. Ask your question now. She wanted to ask a question. Go on then. When I was running around going to the loo and getting drinks and everything, you were discussing about me doing a live. Mm. What was the answer? Well, we never got a real defined answer. <laughs> but it is just something to think about. Let me join the family. There we go. We're all, <laughs> we're all the same. <laughs> yeah, but how many pair, how, how many pairs have you got in front of you? <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! And you I are you really are a princess. You are a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, shirt, Carmen, resist. Step yeah, back. well, I can't. I can't fucking see without my glasses on. No. I'm literally blind as a bat. Was that a yes to me, Carmen? You want me to do something? Yes. Okay. I yep. should. Okay. Next week, I'll uh, I'll sort out a link to my cha my channel, and we'll sort something out. It'll be a bit rough at first, but uh, it won't be women only. But it may be aimed more at women than at men. We won't be talking about cars. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh why? I think cars. <laughs> I'm get. I'm obvious. I'm gonna have to hack it, and I see what they talk about. <laughs> you couldn't hack it if you tried. No, I'll I'll do, I'll do I could go and listen at the door. <laughs> no, I'll do it. I'll do it here. It won't be just for women. It will be based on what women want. Well, yeah. if you need a hand with anything, give me a shout, okay? What do, what do, what do women want? <laughs> I'm saying nothing, mate. That's got me into trouble that's more than one time. That's why I asked you. Boys, the boys can join in as long as they're all dressed up as women. Oh, <laughs> no, listen, I did that once before. I did that on the American channel. I put a Dolly Parton wig on. I put the lipstick on and everything. And when we turned up on the stream... I was only a fucker that did it. Oh, God. Yes, I am. But if you guys want to hang around, if you guys want to hang around for a sec, uh, people in the chat, absolutely stay safe, stay strong, and stay free. We'll see Take you care, all guys. Week. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs> I'm fucking glad that Lost Souls is gone now.